Hello, haha. <laughs> Let's unmute everybody here. Mute and mute and mute. Hello, haha. <laughs> Evening, everybody. There we go. Well, <clears throat> we got hello. it. We got it working. Woohoo! We're up. Hey, we got oh, people too by many, early. Too many, awesome. uh, too many sounds here. Gotta mute some stuff. There we go. <laughs> <All right. laughs> welcome, welcome. There you guys are. How's it going, guys? Yeah, good, man. Looks like we got a good crowd here early tonight. Nice. Yeah, got some people hanging out Sunday night. Jenna is here. Hi there's here. Woohoo! Hi, hi there's always here. He just turns his, uh, <laughs> turns his thing off and he just sits in your chat all the time. He chills. He hangs out, man. Yeah. Jenna's ready. He wants to watch the action. He wants to watch the death. Hey, man. He's missing B chills for you. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Woo! Game nine. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, man. Cool, cool. <clears throat> i got to find those notes. I'm still looking for the notes for uh, the one campaign I was talking about when you had interest in Ravenloft last time. I had... Uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he likes the new... Uh, Jin likes the new, uh, the new setup. Oh, thank you. Perfect. It's cool. You can tell who everybody is. Yeah, we got the NPCs <laughs> in there. <clears throat> a little more cleaned up. And then if we need the map, we got a map. We can put a map in there. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, it's an ongoing process. We'll, uh, we'll tighten her up. As we go, right? Yeah, man. Make it better and better. Why not? For sure. <clears throat> Woohoo! Sorry, I interrupted what you were saying. No, uh, you were talking about the Ravenloft campaign last time, and I was looking for the notes. Yep. I'm still trying to find them. I haven't found them. Um, I got some notes from a custom campaign I, I was going to start. I never did. I want to find them and apply them to this for later on. But cool. for tonight, let's talk about last time. <clears throat> so last time in the dungeon uh you guys entered a room with a cage at the center of the room and there was acidic jars all over as well as large boulder traps which took you a while to find and you did so and avoided most of the damage uh avoided uh, well, kylo got smushed by a giant uh trap ball um Ouch. <laughs> but you did not get acidically burned up, although nope. some people did get a little bit of damage to their armor. Nothing severe. Nobody did. So it was a success. Uh, from there, we went to a room with a lich on the throne in the middle of the room. Um, here, we also managed to avoid big disaster as uh, Claire Val stuck uh, a weapon or a piece of metal into the doors and avoided the undead from coming up into the room and fighting everybody. Which is very touch cool. Touch the lich. Touch the lich. Got some, uh, got some magical stuff and um, took off into the ceiling. Oh, make a note here as I remember things. Like a bunch of rats who went into the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then finally, you came to the uh, the room of the beholder. I made it into the beholder's territory in underground ruined city uh, or town and made your way down through this wreckage, avoiding him at almost every turn. Uh, so as he was going to encounter you and force you over various obstacles, uh, Claire Val was able to drive him off with a spell and make him search in different directions, uh, only causing the hazards for you guys to get by but not to be uh, hurt by the beholder, which was very nice. Got to the end of it. Spards got, are very handy to have. <laughs> <laughs> got to the end, got up on a ledge, and you got out of the room. <clears throat> very safe and very out of the way. So it was very successful. Very good time. 
Uh, when we start here, you will be in a tunnel going away from the beholder's area as uh, you've made it look like it's been blocked off by rock behind you. So there is no... Yeah, we got super lucky with that beholder. That's no beholder sure. following you. <laughs> so far. <laughs> so far. <laughs> you did because I had all his stats. I had all his eyes. And I was going to get you. But you got away. Uh, <clears throat> so that was really good. <laughs> Better to be here. <laughs> yeah, we sure are lucky sometimes. <laughs> Do a little dehydrate there, too. You got a bard. <laughs> Ooh, we got a bard. And that's what we're going to pick up. So that's what we're going to start tonight. So you guys will be just out of the Beholder Room in the Dark Tunnel. Making your way off. <clears throat> if there's anything you want to backtrack about or talk about in character in the game, let me know. Um, oh yeah, we were in a spot where we were resting or not just like... Contemplating our next move, type of thing. Contemplate we weren't going to stop in here because, like, we've just got, we've just are on the other side of that tunnel. Okay. I've got an illusionary blocking off of the wall, but <laughs> all it takes is the beholder taking one good look at this, and <laughs> and we're fighting the beholder. So let's just keep going for a little bit. <laughs> okay, that, that's good. Yeah. So right. we're in, a, in a hallway. You're in the hallway. You're going to make your way down. Or you're going to do something uh, else. What else is there to do? In the Nothing. Hall? Clever Al says, go, you go. <clears throat> All right, you make your way forward. Ragnar, Ragnar's going to pee in the corner. I don't know. <laughs> Ragnar behind you as you uh, walk down the hallway into darkness. Eventually, you enter into what appears to be a wizard's workshop. Bookcases line the walls and stand in rows throughout the room. A large, <laughs> a large stone table sits to one side <laughs> with alchemical, a chemical equipment set up on it along with four distinct vials of colorful liquid. At the room's center is a tall wooden pedestal with a large uh, tome uh, open and resting upon it. In front of the pedestal on the floor is a truck drawing of a magical circle. That's where uh, you're... Magical oh. circles on the side of the pedestal where someone will be standing to read? Uh, correct. Wrong. Okay. As opposed to being in front of the pedestal apart from the caster? Are you saying right below where the guy stands or in front? So if I'm if I'm at a pedestal, it's got a slight downward slant where I'm resting what I've got on there so that mm -hmm. it's somewhat upright. Mm -hmm. Is the so let's say if I'm looking at the book, I'm standing behind the pedestal. Correct. Where's the magic circle? Is it behind the pedestal or is it in front of the pedestal? Uh, it would be behind. Okay. So if I were reading from the book, mm -hmm. I would be standing on the magical circle. Correct. All right. Well, if it's a magical circle. I'm not reading from the book, just standing <laughs> on the magical circle. <laughs> What's yeah, on the table? You still like to do that kind of thing? Knock yourself out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even, well, I guess I can read magic, right? Because, yeah, I can uh, You took the lich's book. I didn't take the no, lich's book. No, no, no. That was me. That was, that was Jackson. <laughs> that was the... the the trident wheeling, wheeling defensive master it's or whatever. Right Jackson. <laughs> the wall. <laughs> the wall, yes. The, the dual shield building. Yeah, shield man. Shield man, yes. <laughs> um, okay, so what's uh, what's on the table? You said there was a table there? Yeah. <clears throat> there's a large stone table in the room. And on the stone table is some alchemical equipment. So there's some glass beakers, um, some of them curly Q things, uh, the Bunsen burner, for lack of a better term, and some glass vials with colorful liquids set up. Any, uh, any finished can... potions? Or is it just kind of chemicals? Uh, they may be finished, yeah. There's uh, what looks like a couple potion bottles full of colorful liquid. Can anybody identify potions? Alchemy. Well, I'm a ja I'm a jack of all trades, so I can attempt to. What kind of check do you want to identify the potions there, uh, DM? We'll go arcane, I think. Okay. Ooh, eleven. All right. <clears throat> There's a variety of colors. I don't think any of these, um, you've specifically come across. But with an eleven, being a bard and having a lot of background knowledge and knowledge in the arcane um 
you can figure out that these specific potions are resistance potions. You can't okay. figure out which family each belongs to, but that they are resistant to different types of damage. All right, so let's gather those up. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, pack mule. Pack mule. <laughs> <laughs> pack mule. Ragnar? Mm. Definitely. Ragnar will Actually, walk you know over. What? Yeah. How many potions are there? There is four. Four. I'll take them. I'll put them in my pack. All right. Okay. Now, don't forget, out of game, <clears throat> that you, Mr. Kyloak, have a... Uh, uh, what is it? Not a sash. Bandolier, for lack of a better term, that holds magical potions, I believe. Oh, do I have that? I think you do, unless I'm wrong. Because I had the... Was that a bandolier or was it a uh, hood? I thought I had a hood. No, you get... Uh, I have a cowl. A silk cowl with gemstones, well made. Oh, t oh, no, that's the one that I gave to him. <laughs> no, no, I have the cowl, because that's... No, that's not the cowl, no. Well, a cowl goes on your head. That's a piece of cloth. Yeah. <laughs> what Batman wears. Yeah. Yes, I know. I have a leather studded armor that's a stealth plus one. Masterwork mm -hmm. studded armor. Uh, I don't remember picking up. Maybe I did. Well, if you don't have it written down, then you probably don't have it. But I thought you I did at one time. It. I don't have it written down. The idea behind it anyway is what it is, is instead of putting the items into your pack, which takes... Um, time to root through and look through using up your entire action um, you would be able to use it as an interaction to just take it out of the bandolier and use it very quickly was it was it the thing I picked up from the dwarf uh, I don't pouch? no 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 this what? is something that you'd have, I'd have actually gone out and purchased it's a bandolier you wear across your chest and it's got little slots to hold six potions so I like have you're in combat you just <laughs> pull one out take a drink it's very handy. Yeah, it's okay. I've got the uh, I've got that medical pouch from earlier. I'll just put it in there. I don't think I have a bandolier. All right. So essentially, right now they're in a pack. So it would take a full uh, thing to find them. Okay. Yeah. All well, right. it's like a hip like a hip pouch. The one that. Uh, it's still still there. technically. I know. Take yeah. one move. I know. <laughs> but it's not like I have to take my backpack off, look through the backpack, and move the ladder and stuff like that. Fair enough. <laughs> move the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> There's no ladder. <laughs> We've lost the ladder. We've lost two ladders. Mm -hmm. That's definitely something Jackson's going to look into getting. Yeah, I've been <laughs> chat for the ladders. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're handy, man. Yeah. Can't go wrong with the ladder. All right, so Kylo will go over and take the colorful vials from the stone table where the alchemical equipment is. What's everybody else want to do? I'm going to take a look at uh, the other area. So we've got a table where there's alchemical stuff going on, presumably making potions. We've got the pedestal with mm -hmm. uh, some type of book on it. It's got a magical circle at the foot of it. Right. And there was another work table, you said? Uh, no, there was bookcases, that's all. Oh, bookcases. Yeah. So I'll then take it, a quick look at At the bookcases? Okay. Yep. All right. Looking for your last library book, eh? Inspect yeah. that magical circle. It's those late fees, man. <laughs> All right, you go over and look yeah. at the books. The books uh, are, are basically a library of knowledge uh, on study of the Far Realm. Um, the books aren't necessarily individually named, uh, but they cover various topics that would be helpful to anyone working uh, in this situation, both in alchemy and in knowledge of the Far Realm. Um, a full set of books like this, if you uh, or to build it into your own laboratory would give you bonuses in creating potions and or research. Tessa, are these books something that you'd be interested in? All right, fair enough. Uh, she would say, the alchemy set, that would be most interesting for me if we ever got out of here alive. Oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> she has been down here a long time. Ragnar, pack, <laughs> Ragnar, pack mule, chop chop. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Here's a book of encyclopedias, pal. Like <laughs> Don't be disrespectful. 
disrespectful. Give them the full set of encyclopedias. On yeah. The yeah. <laughs> 700 copies. <laughs> Tessa's left. <laughs> She'd be very interested, but it is a lot of books. So, I don't know. Gotta be a little hard to transport. All right, uh, let's you guys, take a look at the go ahead. magical symbol on the ground. All right, so Jackson uh, Jackson is there, and Kylo or uh, Claire Val will come over. Uh, Jackson, you're looking at the magical circle on the ground. Uh, what yeah. do you want to to What do you want to do here? I want to investigate it, see if it's anything that I might recognize. Okay, all right. Uh, give me a check. What are you going to use? Uh, I do have some arcana. Okay, that's an eleven. That sounds familiar, <laughs> it? You know, it's a magical circle. You just don't know what it's used for or anything else like that. It has a lot of uh, glyphs drawn upon it and whatnot. Uh, Claire Val, as well, you walk over and you start to inspect yep. the circle itself. Well, he's already done an arcana check, so I'll mm -hmm. do an investigation check. I'm just going to take a look. Is I'm specifically looking at the dust, so like there's going to be some dust and that's mm -hmm. for sure. Is the magical circle special in that like nothing's collected over top of it? I see. So, okay. investigation check. 11. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, yeah, yeah, you don't come away. <laughs> don't come away with too much. You see that it okay. is pretty dusty in here, but you can't tell the last time it's been used or any specifics like that. You guys are looking at that. Uh, Ragnar himself uh, will actually mention to the group that he doesn't feel uh, so hot. Uh, he's going to take a bit of a back seat for a while. He's going to use his uh, ability as a fighter to protect Tessa, who has his soul, um, leaving most of the combat to you. Okay. Other Big decision you. we'll handle as well for you, Ragnar. Don't worry. <laughs> we know thinking is not your forte, and we forgive you. You got the works. I, I, there you go. Okay, first prediction of the night. There uh oh. Go. There you go. <laughs> It's a little one, but it's uh, keeping with the current theme. <laughs> Jax is missing it, man. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> <All right>, so... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, so there's nothing else sitting on tables or anything else. Um, anything anything uh, interesting on the walls? Uh, paintings or uh, tapestries? Or uh, it won't be paintings or tapestries in this room, no, but there'll be a couple pinned up uh, pinned up notes. So a couple inked and pinned up notes. Uh, you will see drawings of the actual beholder himself uh, pinned up attached to the wall. You will see some images of like a, a portal, uh, one of them with a, a series of bowed heads of cowled uh, creatures, pardon me, around a uh, glowing door. Cowled creatures, not necessarily humanoid? Can't tell. Who knows? Okay. Owls. Any other actual written notes about anything? Uh, just a big uh, magical book. Hmm. <laughs> Nobody wants on a pedestal. It's a magic book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else on the podium other than the book? Uh, notes, yes. There's more notes. There's notes everywhere. More so notes. Uh, more handwritten notes here and there, uh, drawings, sketchings, uh, translations, uh, all kinds of things are sitting all over the place. <laughs> um, I'm going to collect up the notes and, uh, and put them in my backpack. As a like a, a bunch together. Okay. What about the book itself? Uh, I'm not touching that book. <laughs> Gonna avoid the book? Hey man, uh, a creepy looking dead lich looked at me last time. Some someone touched a book. <laughs> oh, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. All right. <clears throat> All right. Gather up various notes. Uh, tuck them away inside your pack. And you guys are sitting in this room. It's pretty quiet. Pretty safe in here so far. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Door at the far end will lead off when you're ready to go. If you want to rest up in here so or do anything in here. So we're relatively safe here for the moment. Yeah. Or so we would think. Looks like it. Um, I'm going to take out those rings and take a look at them. Okay. While see, he is uh, doing that, I'm going to see if I can read the book without standing in a circle. Aha. Okay. Without standing in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get stuck in All right. a circle. I make sure I'm not standing near Jackson when he's attempting that feat. <laughs> you look at the rings. And they're very nice. They're very uh, they're made out of, out of precious metals, uh, set so with five to ten rings. Uh, how, many, how many did we actually find? I would say there's seven actually total. Seven. Okay. Um, each one is made out of uh, precious metal, uh, set with uh, gemstones, 
and whatnot. Uh, looked very nice, uh, etched with little glyphs and um, words here and there. Nothing outlandish, but just little different writings and things. Very nice. Looked very expensive. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to cast Tech Magic. But as you do, everything lights up magic. The rings all light up magic uh, to a degree. The potions and things light up magic in the room. And the tome on the pedestal, of course, radiates magic as well. That's your companion's okay. equipment. Just kind of looking around, was there, is there anything else in the room that's radiating? Uh, magical yeah, circle will all radiate okay. magic. Uh, nothing else, no. Nothing else. Um, no. We didn't see if there was a door. Is there another door in this room? There is. There's a door at the far end. Okay. All right, so it wasn't just like come in here, cast a portal, and walk through the portal. Oh, no, not in this case. Okay. <laughs> All um, right. Okay, let me, uh, let me put on one of the rings. Just going to randomly put on a ring? Yeah, sure. Why All not? right. <clears throat> Just one. <laughs> yes, yes, put them on. <clears throat> Putting on the rings. You're standing in the room. People are doing various things in the room. They're looking here and there. Jackson's peeking over, looking at the book. Kyle Oak's uh, still investigating the circle. You put the ring on. <clears throat> You're looking at the other ones. And you hear again, kind of like you heard earlier when you were fight or not fighting the lich, but around the lich, you hear the words "curse you" as you put it on. Right. <laughs> you don't feel any different. I hope that's a curse you. You stole my stuff, and not a curse you. Uh, a thousand deaths. Yeah. <laughs> Type of curse. But may you stub your left toe every time you walk a corner. <laughs> yes. May a yak sleep on your pillow for two it's, months. It's it's nice though. <laughs> you put it on. It, it's nice. It's this big big very expensive uh, regal looking ring it's something nicer than you've seen or you've come across being a folk hero you're not used to this this is outlandish you know this is like wearing one of the prince's rings here <clears throat> very nice yeah <laughs> does it do anything to me nope do I feel any different not that you know <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a magic ring uh huh so um, mm -hmm. Can I read any of the words on it? Uh, take it off and kind of kind of look at it. Um, so it, I can take it off. It comes off. No, no issue. <laughs> okay. No issue. That's actually yeah. That's a good sign, I guess, right? <laughs> look at that, and you just kind of notice some some elven script on the inside. And it just says uh, "frozen forever" when translated. You're half elf. You can understand the language. <clears throat> frozen forever. Mm -hmm. an odd thing to have on a ring. You could ask the lich, but he did. <laughs> I could ask the Tess. Tess, what do you think this means? She says, that's Elvin. It means frozen oh, forever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it's also glowing magic. So, uh, any ideas? She'll what say, be careful with forever? magic rings. Don't ever put them on. <laughs> well, I put this one on and it came off okay. Hmm. That's a good sign, I guess. I did hear a little whisper, though. Curse you. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Maybe before we start playing with the magic items, we'll take them somewhere professional to get them identified. That's a better I idea. I don't know. Did you see an artificer down here? No, but there was one back in Ashura. True. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Clever out with some... <clears throat> Wise words. <laughs> Jackson. Right, well, well, I won't put any more of them on. <laughs> Trying to read the book without stepping in that circle. All right. You oh. avoid, avoid the circle, and you're looking over, kind of uh, peeking at the book. Um, and you can see some magical writing mixed with some uh, um, handwriting and whatnot in there. Uh, you've read magic before and whatnot, and you can read, the, read in the book. Um, written into the book. It says, 48 souls given to, given to Sargoth in exchange for knowledge that will aid in opening a doorway to the Far Realm. The mages we brought will act as transmitters and should stabilize the doorway. My spells to give them artificial life will last for centuries. However, if any of them were to be removed, the doorway would weaken and grow unstable. I do not yet understand if the collapsing of the doorway's powerful magic would destroy... Uh, Ray wins catacombs or suck it through the fading portal to the far realm itself Either way we must must protect the mages at all costs 
Not signed by anyone. Um, so, Sargoth, is that the... Is that the, is that the Beholder's name? No. Yeah. No. No, no that was Zemirsky. Zermyskarsky. Zerzaks. Zerzaks? Okay. I spell it. Okay. What yeah. was the Mind Flayer's name? Okay, they're both close. <laughs> that. I had to write it down 500 times in here. I still can't remember it. <clears throat> I think it's Zermyskazi. Yeah, Zermyskazi. That's what I have written down here, too. Yeah. Zermyskazi. Yeah. Right. What was the Mind Flayer's name? Anybody remember that? We got a name on no, the Mind Man, I don't think you got a name. I thought we got his name. Oh. Um, anyway, so it, that, is that... Um, I'm just gonna ask Tess. Is that your deity? She will. <clears throat> she will say yes. Sargoth. Uh, that's where I heard the name before. Sargoth She's is my open. patron. He lives in the far realm. He is one of the old ones. All right, Tessa. <laughs> Maybe you should fill us in a little bit more on what's going on down here. <laughs> she says, I know as much as you, but it looks like Raywind may have been successful in opening his portal to the Far Realm. If Sargoth is involved... <laughs> uh, well... Very, very power powerful magic from an elderly old one. An old god. Speaking of souls, how many souls did you bring with you? She doesn't answer. <clears throat> Gans will walk over, though. He'll say, this is terrific news. Gentlemen, we know how to destroy the portal. These mages that he speaks of. If they could be killed, we can close the portal. Of course, it may kill us, but we can close it. Or rip the portal open permanently. Hmm. I think um, it's said something in there about sucking it into the far realm, which good. Good riddance. Get it gone. Not if we're in there at the time. That's yeah, true. That it may be time for uh, the sacrifice it? of heroes. We are heroes, aren't we? He kind of looks at you with this courage. <laughs> Jackson laughs. I am, I am a pirate, my friend. <laughs> we think you contracted it with the wrong party. <laughs> I've been known to do some heroing. <laughs> he says, well, I've come to close the portal. This is what we know so far. I'm open to other suggestions and other ways, of course, but it's a good lead. So, is there in the uh, in the notes that I have, so I'll mm. go through the notes real quick. Is there a list of um, uh, worthy recruits? Like, are the are the mages' names written anywhere in the notes? Oh, good, good call. Um, but no, it is not specified no. specifically. Okay, I want to match those damn eyeballs up to the, <laughs> ah. the mages. Oh. You remember the ones I have in my backpack? Uh huh. I'm going to take the book with me. We do still have the big eyeball, too. Who's got that one? Um, Tessa has that one? Yes, Tessa has the, the main eye, yes. Jackson, when you take that book, <clears throat> it goes with you. It's um, a comparison to almost like the Lich's book, like a big a big tome. It's a little bigger, uh, leather-bound book. Uh, it also... <clears throat> ba -ba 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 -ba. Give me a wisdom. Another first item? <laughs> Give me a wisdom throw. Wisdom uh, oh, oh, check. Oh, here we go with a big prediction. Wisdom save? Uh, check. Okay. I'll let you go ahead and put that prediction up first. <laughs> oh, it's already, it's He's already got up. It. He's was, ready to go. Don't get an 11. Next, this is the next <clears throat> roll. What'd you roll? <laughs> he got a one. <laughs> Uh, so it's not. <laughs> it's not, it's a, not a natural it's one, not a natural but it's a one. one. It's a one. It's uh, you're just like, oh, pretty book. Okay, so you take the book. <laughs> <laughs> just make notes somewhere of where you got it. Put uh, like wizard's uh, lab book or uh, yeah. something like that. Congratulations to the winners. <clears throat> well, it had a one in it. It did have a one in it, so we got to break that cycle. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. If I like that, that means either a natural 20 or a 2 to 9. <laughs> 2 to 9. <laughs> oh, who do we get there? There's the follow. Thank you. The Somewhere Scourge. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for coming by. Enjoy the game. 
All right, so you cleaned out the room uh, pretty much for the most part. You took the book. Um, uh, Kylo, you've got some interesting ideas on uh, uh, speaking to Tessa and Gans about the far realm and what's going on. Uh, you do know that a great old one is involved <clears throat> somehow, some way, uh, on the far realm, which is maybe not good. Yeah, we may be hitting a little above our, <laughs> our weight here. <laughs> uh, especially when we're rolling ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, so one more thing, when I because the detect magic is still up, when I was rooting around looking at those rings, um, is the necklace magic as well? Yes. Shall we continue on? Jackson, you still with us there? Yeah. How's your book collection going? <laughs> that makes two. He's got his tomes now. You want to take any of these other dusty tomes? Maybe an encyclopedia on, like, beholders from the I'll, far realms? I'll give a quick look over, see if there's any books that I recognize. Okay. Oh, okay. Making how to read. Uh, yeah. <laughs> again, the books themselves weren't labeled. They were part of a set. So uh, there was ones on alchemy, and there was ones on uh, um, studying the far realm. Various different books. Uh, uh, books on here and there it could be on elven lands elven magic um anything related to a far god far realm god or anything like that if you want to take a few volumes you certainly can just mark them down i'll shove two <laughs> random books in my bag <laughs> all right two random books okay all right put two random books in your bag <clears throat> you will be a fountain of knowledge eventually <laughs> I will know so much and be so not wise. <laughs> gets a one, gets a one, gets a one. You're like, look, I have a book for it. <laughs> the lusty it's Argonian. <laughs> it's one of these twenty. It's one of these twenty-seven bookmarks. Sure uh, <laughs> Alright, you gonna make your way out of the room? Yeah, over to the new door. Is the new door open or is it, is it an archway? Uh, new door is closed. It's just a wooden door. It's just a wooden door. Mm. Um, test the handle. Alright, make your way over. Tap on the handle. It's not hot. Uh, give it a little half turn. It's not locked. Not locked? Okay. Um, and it's a fully closed door, right? Fully not closed. Like no, fully closed no wooden door. Okay. No way to look through. Standard okay. handle. Crack the door up two inches. But Are you going to put your face in the hole? <laughs> no. <I'm gonna> stand, <laughs> open and stand back All and right. take a look. You reach in, you go, oh, back up. Normal door. Nothing oh, there. Okay. Just a hallway. Fling the door open. And then, no. All right, you open the, <laughs> open the door and continue down the hall. <clears throat> Make your way down the hallway, just like we have before, into a darkened hallway. Until you come to, oddly enough, another wooden door. Looks the same as the last one. Um, dark beyond. No light coming from around the door or anything like that. Seems the same. Who was in the front here of our party um, are we going with kylo the back. <clears throat> you're going no, the back I'm to the back i'm using the back okay. yeah jackson i think you're marching order first are you yeah that's usually how it is all right come to a door similar to the first one the one you just went through back into everything i'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll open it up all right open the door and look into the room uh, you enter into a circular room the smell of oil is heavy in the air to your right and left, raised arched stairways lead up to a central door atop a landing. In the middle of the room, a circular pit is framed by the stair arches. Uh, and uh, yeah, is sorry, is framed by the stair arches and goes down, goes downward into dark. Circular room, <clears throat> circular room stairs go down. Okay. You cannot tell how how deep the pit is. It goes beyond your sixty foot dark vision. Um, and it is silent in here. But it smells like oil. Got a smell of oil in the air. Yeah, I'm keeping a bit tighter grip on the torch at this point. Good idea. That torch. Mm. Um, so as you look in, again, you open the door and there's a, a mini landing. There's a staircase to your right, to your left. They both go upwards in a curved arch pattern, hugging the, the right and left wall. Uh, so they go out in like a half circle, right, around the, the exterior of the room to a landing at the far end <clears throat> in front of a doorway at the very top. In the middle is a circular pit. Looking down beyond 60 feet, it's dark. 
does it smell like the oil is coming up from the bottom? Uh, correct, yes. Okay. Definitely don't want to drop the torch down there. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've... Uh, can I survey the floor and see if there's no traps or anything? Uh, what do you want to do? Bottom of the staircase? Well, the floor we're on. Okay, do the floor you're on. Okay. Go for it. Investigate for us. Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. Okay, so you do a quick inspection of the the landing pad that you're on. Seems pretty stable, pretty legit. Don't see any um, imp uh, uh, plates or anything like that. <clears throat> okay. uh, while I'm walking walking around checking out the floor, I want to just uh, bend down and uh, kind of run my fingers um, in front of the staircases and see if there's any oil on the floor. Okay. Good call. Yep. I'll get your intent. You do so. Kind of give it an investigation. Come away pretty clean. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Maybe just okay. some stuff from so the air. No oil has been brought up here. Hmm. Um, so we had to go go down. Are you, so there's another staircase that goes up, too? Nope. Both, both, go, both up. go down. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, both uh, go uh, up, not down. Okay. Uh, and and you said the oil is... Oh, there's a pit. In front of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. I missed the pit. I'm sorry. And that's where we can hear smell the oil from. Correct, yes. <clears throat> Jackson will start heading up the right stairs. All right, Jackson's going up the right side staircase. I'll go up the left stairs. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Kylo <laughs> up the left. Everybody else is following to an extent, I would assume. No, I was going to let them get up to the top, make sure anything didn't drop. Like, I'll put my hand up. Hold, let's, okay. let's just let them go first. All right, okay. Yeah. All right, both of you guys go up your respective staircases to get to, to near the top. Uh, look back, and you can see uh, Claire Val down below, waiting, just watching, seeing what you guys are doing. Claire Val. <clears throat> Until both of you will eventually come to the, the landing and the, the door on the top. Uh, okay. Whatever you want to so do, let me know back. where you are and what you want to do. If we peer back over, can we see down into the pit better? Uh, it would be you'd be up higher at this point, yeah. correct? So but, it's yeah, but a different vantage. Right? It's a different vantage, but it's still uh, sixty feet is all you can see, right? Okay. Um, man, I still want to drop a torch in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Call everyone uh, okay. over so that he can do that. <laughs> it's it seems safe up here, guys. Come on up. All right. Well, I'll go up. Okay, everybody goes up. Uh, Kyloke, where are oh, you? Give me. A, I'm gonna get blown into the pit. Give me. A, where are you? <clears throat> well, I'd still be to the. I went up the left stairs, so I'd be to the left side of the door. Okay. Are you? Are you and, like? Uh, like, there's a landing, and then I'm there's on the, the landing. Door. Okay, yeah, you're on, on the landing. Okay, I'm, perfect. I'm looking over the over the balcony okay. rail, and back at the pit and where everybody was. Jackson, what are you doing? <clears throat> I'm waiting for everyone to come over, making sure that no one falls. Okay. Oh, just kind of waiting on the staircase. Yeah. Okay. All right. Kylo, you look back. Helping them up, giving them a piece of ration as they come up. Yeah. You look over the edge, you don't see anything. It's just dark. Okay. All right. I'm not going to drop anything in the pit. Thank you. <laughs> as much as I want to. Door behind you? There's a door behind us, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'll try the handle again. Okay. <clears throat> you guys watch as Kylo walks over and turns the handle on the door. As he turns the handle on the door, the landing below him gives way, and Kyloke vanishes downward. Kyloke, you hit a slide, for lack of a better term, and go down under the landing, under the staircases, and into the pit. You have to check to grab him. <clears throat> um, I'm very dexterous. All right, go for it. Got to be high. <laughs> Natural 20. Nice. Yeah, I got him. There's no one All right. than that. <clears throat> you got him. All right, you Thank grab him. <laughs> you grab Kylo before he falls. Uh, floor gives way, and uh, I don't know, something from your belt coin or something falls down. Ah, oh, that was my favorite coin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, just be careful touching that handle, guys. <laughs> You pull him up. Thank you for thank you for grabbing me. Pull me up, please. <laughs> I need help pulling him up. I'm dexterous, but I'm not very strong. <laughs> Jackson will reach over and grab and pull. Okay, grab him and pull him up. That's uh, 17. All right, with 17, you're able to pull him up. Pull him up to the side, and he's back up onto the staircase with you. Before you, the landing is uh, uh, opened up, 
and drops down into the pit. You guys are standing on the staircases at the moment. Can, can we? Oh, the whole the whole landing's gone. The landing is down. Yeah, it's like folded down. So so we can't get. Oh, it's folded down. Yeah. So we can't get to the door. Can't get to the door at the moment. No. Does the door open? Uh, door is not open, no. Okay. Hmm. So How we far? Slide, we can slide Try. down. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that. <laughs> Forget <laughs> that. How far uh, between where we can stand on the stairs and, like, the door handle? So, like, we're reaching over to try and grab the handle, knowing that the landing's dropping, because we've seen it drop. Yeah. Can't reach the handle to open it. Uh, while you, still being able to. you could do it. It'd just be a stretch. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, it's that small landing. Okay. Yeah. One man landing. He's much. gonna do that. I'm gonna grab the back of his shirt and hold him tight to make sure he doesn't. Gentle. Fall. This is my tacky dragon shirt. <laughs> Gentle with it. Do, do you want the Do you want the rope? I can. I got that rope. You can use. You tie it around. Him. Nah. So, no. Stretch over. Open the door. Okay. Reach over. Uh, open the door and give it a little push, push it open. inward. goes inward. <clears throat> you can see a hallway uh, beyond inside. Okay. Uh, looks clear once we get in through here. So can we jump to the doorway? Uh, essentially, yes, you can jump to the doorway. Uh, just a little awkward turn. You'd have okay. to back up on the staircase a bit, you know, kind of make that 45 jump or whatever you want to okay. call it. But you could, you could try, yes, of course. <clears throat> Great. I will attempt it. Go for it. <clears throat> Acrobatics. Yes. Uh, Twelve. Perfect. Okay. You jump off the staircase. You land into the hallway. And you can see down into the hallway. goes off into darkness. And you can look All back right. and you can see people. All Claire right. Val, look for a switch. Uh, good idea. I'll, I'll raise this landing yep. back up. You'll look around. Is there a switch there to disengage the landing drop? Uh, using perception, you look around into the uh, the hallway to look for some kind of release lever or something like that. Hey, don't see it over here. There's nothing here in the, the immediate vicinity. You check the area near the door, maybe a little bit down the hallway, but don't come away with anything. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> see anything on this side. Here, so give me your hand and we'll pull you over, make it a little easier to get everybody over. Mm -hmm. I'll start helping people over. All right, uh, do acrobatics or athletics if you're going to jump, but with advantage. You're being helped. I'll do one for the NPCs. 17. We're going to say Gans, Tessa, and Ragnar are able to make it in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got 20, 22. All right, able to make it in. This is where I put my natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Walking <laughs> through a door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're able to make it up and in. <clears throat> Into the door. There I know you go. we're all through. I'm going to ask if anyone still has an urge to drop a torch in there. <laughs> no, I have no urge. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling that you do, Jackson. A little bit, but I'm going to wait till everyone's ten feet back. <laughs> <laughs> so if okay, everyone I moved, I moved back, back then I'll do it. All right. <clears throat> if everyone moves down the hallway, Jackson, you can light up a torch. You're going to throw it down. Nope. It. Oh. I'm not going to oh. use a torch. I'm just going to reach my hand out and firebolt. Oh, do a firebolt down? Right down. Shh. All right, firebolt down into the hole. <clears throat> it does go down. It does ig ignite the oil below. Uh, the blowback is a little bit um, uh, hot. shut the door behind us. <laughs> hot for you, but you're able to do it. Close the door and move on down the hall. All there. right. <clears throat> Make your way. Yeah, the holder finds his way down the tunnel. He's going to have some <laughs> rude stuff waiting for him. <laughs> Make your way down the hall until you come to another room. At the end of the hallway is an arch. No door at this at this point. Entering this room, you see a basic uh, square room layout with a raised platform near the center. <clears throat> four brass dragon heads stand four feet uh, off the ground on platforms attached to small pillars uh, arranged in a circular pattern, so to say. Kind of back to back, like a cross. <clears throat> Uh, they sit. So the heads are facing out. The heads are facing out, other. out from each okay. other. Yes, you're correct. Yep, and almost like a star-like pattern, all four of them, <clears throat> facing okay. a different direction of the room. Uh, they are on a raised 
little dais, I guess we'll call it for lack of a better term, at the center of the room. And each one of them is about four feet in the air on top of a pillar facing out into the room as you come in. Alright. Assuming we're all going into the room? Up to you. I'll go first. Yeah. Yep. Alright, Jackson all right. makes uh, it. I want to do uh, Arcana check on the dragon heads to see if I can try and determine what kind of dragons they are. Okay. Uh, 17. All right, 17 is really good. Uh, they are uh, representative of uh, of brass dragons. They're not real dragon heads. They're not. They're not brass. Yeah, I, yeah. I assume that, but yeah. just because they were made of brass didn't necessarily mean they were a brass dragon. Correct. Uh, it's just a brass drag or a brass representative of a dragon head. It doesn't depict clearly any one type of dragon or the other. Um, if so, it would it would more resemble a true brass dragon, I guess you would say. Okay. Are their mouths open? They are. Yeah, Jackson will take a closer look at one of the mouths, see what's in them. Okay. Jackson makes his way over and, and looks in your head in looks it. inside the dragon's mouth, always safe. What's in there? You can see at the back of the mouth, near the back of the statue, uh, where I guess the throat would be, uh, seems to be a uh, brass ring. Like a pull chain ring or a ring ring? Oh, like a pull chain ring. Okay. Oh, like he can resist. <laughs> he can't, he can't resist. He's, resist. Like he's actually contemplating this. <laughs> Will I? Won't I? I, the player, can resist. Jackson, the character, cannot. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. That's an eight on his wisdom save. Even if he tries to resist, <laughs> <laughs> he's pulling that chain. Oh. Give me a number between one and four. Roll a 1d4. Oh, no. All right. Let's see which head you go up to. D4. That's a three. Three. Hmm. B. Where's B? (laughs) (laughs) I picked up a book. I picked up a sword. Let's All see how this <clears throat> ring goes. All right. I picked up two books. You watch Jackson move over, and he puts his hand into this dragon's mouth, <clears throat> pulls something at the back, and you hear a grinding at the far side of the room. At the north end of the room, ahead of you, <clears throat> part of the wall will open up, revealing um, a little chamber, just about a, a two foot by two foot, <clears throat> and inside of it looks like the base of a mechanism where a lever would go. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> Where's the searing uh, pain? <laughs> I'll go over to that two by two room. Okay. Make your way over to the okay. two by two room, and you take a closer look at the mechanism. This looks like a uh, <clears throat> um, a metal contraption on the ground, and as you look closer at it, it looks like uh, something would fit into it, like a lever type handle, but. Uh, the base is not completely uh, uh, cylinder-like, if lack of a better term. It's more key-like. It has uh, a bunch of different uh, patterns in the metal. Okay, <clears throat> so like, this gets some kind of lever in it, but it has to be something specific. It's like a key on the end of it, right? Mm-hmm. So there, probably another one of these side passages is going to open, and we'll find... Uh, lever maybe but let's take a look in here first before jackson goes all pull crazy <laughs> jackson's already looking at the next one <laughs> put right, his I'll hand give, back down i'll give clairville a hand okay <clears throat> he's giving me aid we'll do a perception check to look for something that could be a lever yes <clears throat> uh advantage because he's aiding me yep all right i got a, i got a 15 plus uh never mind Two, so well, either 17. one. If Clairval rolled or you rolled, you rolled, you get a 17. So well, I, I have a plus five. So. Go for it. Uh, 19. Okay, even better. Nice. You guys get very high scores. You look about the room uh, for anything that would resemble that object, whether it be hidden in plain sight, come away with nothing. Okay. Jackson will take a look at the keyhole. Okay. 
Is it a specific like key shape, or is it the shape of an object? It'd be like um, shape of an object. Okay. Very well. Yeah. Jackson, I don't know what you're thinking, but I don't want you sticking that in there. <laughs> Jackson will take a step back and pull out his diamond cane that he no. has. No. No. That's not what he's pulling out. <laughs> <laughs> Just before he does that, uh, with that perception that I rolled, is there? can I determine if there's any way to, to brute force the uh, contraption? In case we don't find the level. Uh, perception? I don't think perception would apply too much to that. Um, okay. Your knowledge of traps and machinery is not too, too high. You have a basic understanding. Um, uh, if it was circular and you could just put a lever in and give it a go, yes, 100%. But because of the ornate pattern at the end, you're thinking, ah, there's no way I'm going to bypass that with a, a normal object. Uh, Jackson just pulling just out the cane as well. He picks up the cane. He's like, oh, you know, it won't fit in there because the end of it is is rounded, whereas the item. So yeah, he's looking at the diamond tip mm. end. Mr. Magic Stick. Great idea, absolutely fantastic idea. Uh, looking at the diamond tip end, however, in this case, it is just a diamond on the end of the staff. Um, it does not form a unique pattern. Okay, I'll put that away. Okay. For now. <laughs> So whatever we whatever we need to go in there has to be attached to a lever, though, too. Correct. A yeah. handle of some sort. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess uh, you want to stick your face in another dragon. <laughs> Jackson will go ahead and pick another one. Sure. I, okay. I'm I'm ducking down this time. Make sure <laughs> I'm not bad breath level of these things yeah, speaking I'm also of making that. sure that i'm making sure that i'm not anywhere near that door where the contraption is either because i don't want to get crushed in there if it closes the door where do you want to go uh kylo you're you're asking jackson to to pull these things where are you going to stand <laughs> behind them doorway is there another doorway in here or is it all closed closed off looks closed off the one you came in and then the two foot alcove at the north end of the room so far is all you found um i'll duck back into the archway like the, the door we came in. Oh, you're going to go all the way almost out of the room? Yeah. How big is this room? A normal size room, maybe 60 by 60. Oh, it's a big room. Yeah, a big room. All the four. I'll just I'll move back to the wall. It's, it's, it should be far enough away. Back against <laughs> the wall. All right. Nowhere to aid your ally. What you, you got a four, Jackson? Yep. All right. He goes over, reaches inside one of the uh, draconic heads, pulls a ring. As he pulls it, you hear another grinding as something else opens. This time, though, a door opens right above him, uh, releasing a... Uh, I don't know what a term is. Acid! As it falls <laughs> down... <coughs> you might have a better term, a term than acid. It's acid. Drops down from the roof. Doing 11 points of damage as it comes down and just splashes on him. He gets splashed with acid, <clears throat> which starts eating away at his uh, armor and whatnot on him for 11 points of damage <clears throat> in that round. Kylo Ooh. standing back in the doorway. Uh, you see this come down from the roof and coat him, and it starts burning on him. What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm going to, as soon as that happens, I'm going to start precipitation down my own face. Okay, just kind of clear. Starting with my hat before <laughs> any of myself. <laughs> Save that. Anybody want to do anything to aid him or just let him clean himself? He seems yeah. to have it well in hand. Yeah, oh, awesome. All right. He has prejudice. Unless, one, unless he has, one of the other three wants to do something. He has that spell. He's going to uh, use the spell on him to clean himself so the acid doesn't continue to, to harm him and eat away at his, uh, his gear. I immediately dry clean myself. <laughs> <laughs> You've taken some damage. You will have to do minor repairs over time, but for now, you are okay. Yep. The uh, the trap door that opened above him now is that um, is it, was it was it like a an urn or something that dropped the the acid or was it uh, looked like it came out of there, out of whatever was up there. Okay. <clears throat> is is there room to climb up or no? Well, I mean, there's an empty cavity up there. How how high is the room? Oh, let's say fifteen feet. I can toss you. Acid's still leaking out of there. 
Oh, it's still leaking out of there. Okay. <laughs> That's not a good idea. <laughs> And that's the only thing that's up there. No, no, no lever hanging out. Not that you see from the ground. Okay. Right, before right. Jackson pulls another one, he's going to ready his shield over his head in case that happens again. <laughs> okay. Where are you going? One or two? Uh, let's find out. I will roll. Well, flip the coin. <laughs> uh, two. Two. All right, you get in front of the thing, you get prepared. You get the shield on your arm, you put it over your head. Yeah, <laughs> nothing's getting me. Reach your arm in there and pull. And fire sprays into my face. Yes, it does. <laughs> A 20-foot cone of fire shoots right out of the mouth oh, of the dragon. Burning, this is why I got <laughs> Burning you up in the process. <laughs> For 15 points of fire damage. And I'm down. It just sprays yeah. forward. You see him take it yeah. right to the face, and he goes down. He Boom, he hits the ground. He's on fire. He's burning. Uh, round one. Pull out a water skin and start pouring it on him. All right, run over and start trying to douse him. Kylo, what are you doing in round one? Um, <laughs> he's about 20 feet away from me, right? Sure. Okay, I will go to his aid as well um, okay. he's down is he out uh yeah we'll see the water put him out no no no, no. is he like out cold oh, out? oh yeah uh, he's dying he's in game's conscious. terms you're dying okay. yeah um i had 24 health left from last session <laughs> <laughs> do we have any healing potions left <laughs> i don't have any all i have are those resist potions um, I could cast. Hold on, probably not gonna... How far under zero is he? Do you? Um... <laughs> oh, how kind of right we are to. I really don't want to waste a spell curing him. So I what? Mean, I can use that spell for so many things. Well, what? Because my my cure light wounds will only do only do one d eight. What happens in five e? You you don't know yet. Uh, I don't think Kylo. When someone dies, they just go unconscious. Doesn't matter unless they take damage equal to their hit points, then they're dead, dead. So yeah, right. when he goes down, he starts um, saves. He gets um, round one. He either starts, he saves or fails. Round two, right? Say he saves or fails. Three saves, he's up or he's not up. He's uh, alive. Three fails, he's dead. If he gets a uh, um, cr natural, uh, one, natural one, two. it's two fails. If he gets a natural twenty, it's two successes. And if he's helped in any way during... Yeah. Okay, so he can't be helped until he's either awake or dead. No, no, not at all. You help him right now. The yeah, point... Cure spell. Yeah, the point is you cure him. If you cure okay. him, he doesn't go into death saves. He's up. Okay, I will cast the cure wounds on him. Okay. So you're not going from a negative number. You're going from zero. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'll cast the... Yeah. And that's a one. Three. Nice. All right. Plus your uh, relevant spell modifier. Yes. <clears throat> Which is which? I think wisdom, I'm pretty sure. I don't yep. know what yours is. Uh, I don't have any pluses to wisdom. Yep, so that's three. Yep. I'm going to set up, look at the last one. So I'll also pull him that one. <laughs> he gets up, he's all singed. He don't look so well. He's burnt from acid. He's uh, singed from fire. <clears throat> <laughs> and he's only at three hit points now right. out of game did Ragnar have any of these because I swear you guys had a healing potions uh, he did. might I don't know I don't know what he's got in his, in his backpack he's it. the pack mule also he was the pack mule alright well Jackson come here I'll, I'll start singing him a lovely song uh 17 points of healing as I use a second level. Nice. Cure, cure wounds on you. That's good, and I'll use my second wind as well. Oh, perfect. Which is 1d10 plus my con. Get some HP back. Alright, you guys spend some time, heal them up. It's 13, very good. I'm at 33. 
Good. Now you can pull the other lever. Oh, is it the spell? Is it the spell attack modifier? Is that what you use? Yeah. Okay, so I do have a plus two. That it should be though from okay. your five. No, your Just relevant your relevant ability ability, ability modifier should be your. Oh, that's zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's the other one's just for attack. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh yeah, because you add your proficiency modifier as well, but you don't add that to the spell. Right. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so Jackson, I, I'll go. Wait for someone else to pull that last one. <laughs> Jackson I'll Bowser. Check, I'll go check you were the most one. healed up out of all of us. After that. <laughs> yeah, really. You know what? You're right. I will. What's I will hook my trident onto that chain. My max is 24. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm only at 22 because I got messed up by that ball. Yeah, so, you know, Jackson, your ass is pulling that fourth end, too. <laughs> All right. Am I, able like to, am I able to wedge my trident into the last chain ring? It's a good idea, but it can't get through the open mouth. Uh, the open mouth is only big enough for a hand to go through with the dragon teeth kind of coming down kind of thing. You can't get a trident in there. It just doesn't fit. Could you get the end of the rope through there? To, like, the rope around it, then pull? Yeah. From, Give from me one pull. of the crossbow bolts, Kylo. Oh, sure, since I don't have the crossbow anymore. Here's the whole thing of crossbow bolts. <laughs> I will take that back, and I will tie the rope around one of the crossbow bolts and wedge it into the ring. Okay. Step aside and then pull it. All right. <clears throat> it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> However, in this one. So he pulls it. Uh, he pulls the ring from afar. The mouth does clamp down in this case. Uh, so if the hand was in there, it would have clamped down. The um, Right below where you would have stood to, to pull the ring opens up momentarily and recesses into the floor rather quickly as if an elevator type um, device. Uh, as it does that, at the same time it goes down, the floor itself closes above and seals. Sorry, what? Uh, so basically, if he was standing there, it would have clamped onto, uh, clamped down his onto his hand and uh, the entire device um, goes down into the floor like on an elevator with him, and then this clo the floor closes up above him. But because he did it with a ring on a string, it goes down to the floor, and the floor closes up. So the, the whole head went onto the floor. Yeah. So we only have three dragon heads, and that's it. Yes. That's interesting. Does that mean that the rope is also cut, or is it just stuck down there? The rope will be pinched in the floor, essentially. <laughs> it will have gone down a small bit before it got pinched, pinched off kind of thing. It would have torn, I'm sure, yeah. All right. it, was, it was 50 feet, it's now... Well, no, it would have went um, uh, about, we'll see, 8 feet. It would have went 8 feet down before it broke off. Okay, so it's 42 feet. Yeah. And there's no crease in the floor? There is a crease, yes. So there's a crease where the, the part of the floor would have uh, came together, kind of pinching it off like doors. I'm going to go ahead and try to pry it back open. All right, go for it. What are you going to use? Athletics. No, which, uh, what object are you going to use to pry it? Bare oh, hands? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can do that first before I go ahead and try to use my tools. Okay. That's... Uh, that's a 20, not natural. Mm. Okay, you know what? A 20 is, is a hell of a roll, though. Uh, 20 on a strength check. I would not give this to you in, a, in any other way. You would need something very, very heavy and severe to get in there. But being a 20, you use that, uh, that fish man strength, and you're able to, to pull those doors open. Not all the way, but we're going to say about halfway open. Um, any of the remaining rope that was caught in there, you see, just kind of falls down. You can see down into that thing about uh, almost 20 feet down uh, and you can see the elevator resting at the bottom as you're straining to hold that thing open. Is there anything in there? Uh, looking down you can see the the dragon head and a little platform which uh, you would stand on at the very bottom um, the broken rope uh, and then darkness in that room. Okay. I will let it slam back shut. Okay let it slam back shut. <laughs> A circular room with three dragon heads, an acid thing that came out of the ceiling, mm -hmm. and uh, non-working mecha mechanics. 
and a room below. Acid is all leaked out and stopped dripping down. Mm -hmm. Did the ceiling close back up? Uh, no, still sitting open. Okay, and did the machine move when that thing descended? No. No. Different machine. Okay. Good to know. Well, you had the idea to go looking up there. Do you want to take a look now? Yeah, I'll poke my head up above. How are you going to get up 15 feet in the air? Awesome. Yeah. I can either stand on somebody's shoulders or um, <laughs> you can see if there's another ladder in that. Uh, <laughs> um, in those pockets. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what's in pocket number five. Do I have to roll for that? Oh, uh, percentage, right? Percentage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is not going to be good. I love six. it. Six? Six. Find a bag. Zero and a six. You pull it a, a, a leather bag. It's pretty big. But, you know, good handful. Uh, you can hear it jingle. It's full of coin. Check pocket number four. <laughs> okay. The only time we're hoping for a ladder, we won't get one. <laughs> 92. Ooh, 92. <sighs> <laughs> he it's pulls a out holding a, beholder. <laughs> a plate glass window, two feet by four feet, <laughs> out, of the, out of the bag. Complete window. You pull it out, wooden framed plate glass window. That would have helped with the acid or the fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, looking, that is a weird shield. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Hey, hey, you want a new shield? <laughs> no. <laughs> you can see through it. All right, we'll just leave that up against the wall. Uh, I think I'm done looking in the pockets. Um, if I stand on... You're going to lean side. the window up against the wall? Sure. All right. Go over and you put the window near the wall. You notice as you do it kind of slides over, hits the wall. And like melds into the wall and you can see into the wall you still see stone because the wall is thick oh, it's a magic window. but the window went into the wall can I put my hand through the window it's plate glass <clears throat> plate glass okay so it does resist there's nothing there's no way to put it. it's not like a portal or something mm -mm. It doesn't become oh. a portal when you put it in something okay it's a window that it fixes itself is it fixed can I try to pull it away from the wall pull it away it comes away um, can I lay it on the floor? Where at? Just to the, let's say everybody's, everybody's probably standing to the left of where it went down, so I'll put it on the right side of where the dragon's head went down. Okay. And put it on the floor, it sinks into the floor, you can see below. Looking through the window, okay. you can see 20 feet below, into darkness, you can see the dragon uh, head statue down there, the bottom of the elevator, and the room below. Anything interesting down there? I mean, you're looking straight down, right? Into yeah. the into the rooms, 20 feet down. You notice it's a room, but you can only see, you know, through this little window type okay. thing. How big is the window? Uh, sorry, two by four. Two by four. Okay. All right. Um, anybody else have a suggestion what to do with this window? It looks like it's just allowing me, like, see through a wall like there's no mechanism on it to open it maybe there might be a, like some kind of magical word to force it open but could just be it's designed to let you see into something that can't be seen into mm -hmm. okay let me pick up the, the window again um, okay. put it against me put it against <laughs> you it's sure. horrifying <laughs> I've seen enough fish guts. <laughs> <laughs> um, X-ray. <laughs> X-ray, right. Let's try it on the the wall on the side where the acid sprayed out. Uh, acid came down from above at the center of the room. Yeah, yeah. But the wall across from that dragon head. Sure, okay. <clears throat> no problem. You put it on the wall again. It only sees as into the wall. There's stone behind it, so the wall okay. is too thick. The, um, the room where the mechanism is, is it across from the dragon's head that um, opened it? Uh, essentially, yeah. Okay. Okay, so check the. I'll check across from the um, 
other dragon, the third dragon head that's still here, the one that did the fire. Oh, okay, yeah, same thing, just wool. Just wool, okay. Yeah. Uh, there's no way I can carry this in my backpack, is there? Two by four? I don't think so. No. Mule! Go mule! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ragnar, you want me to carry the window? <laughs> yeah, you're staying out of combat right now, so yeah. go ahead, carry it. <clears throat> How much rope you got left? It's 42 feet, I think. We could tie it onto his pack. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, sure. he ties it around his pack. It's going to come in handy at some point. <laughs> Two by four foot window on his backpack. Straight out. The same way I wear my <laughs> shield. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, as much as I don't want to be tossed... Jackson, can you toss me up to that opening? Jackson will do so gleefully. <laughs> With a 23. All right. He, oh, he's wow. going to try to boost he... boost you up or throw you up, but you got to yeah. grab something here. So give me a deck, give me an acrobatics or athletics. Try to grab the edge of this thing. <clears throat> 15. All right. So, oh, good. Okay. So you're able to get your fingers and you grab the edge of it, uh, and then you're going to have to pull yourself up. We're going to use the 50, and it's okay. You kind of struggle, too, but you, you pull yourself up. Your fingers are burning because they're in acid uh, at the edge of this thing, but you lift yourself up, and you're, ah, your hands feel essentially on fire. Uh, and you're in a small cavity, just a small room. Uh, again, about two by two, darkened walls that are, like, coated in a metal to... Um, uh, I don't know what the hell is this acid. Some <laughs> some kind of uh, some kind of magical metal in there okay. that was holding it. So I'm up above now. I'm standing in there. I uh, two by two. You can't stand. You can crouch. You can like squat in it. <coughs> right. Okay. But it's it's movable. You can move around in there. Sure. Uh, does it go? Does it go anywhere? Or is it just a little? Just an alcove, unfortunately. All right. I guess I'll drop back down. All right. There's nothing else up there, right? No, sir. I'm not catching him. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not that far a drop. <laughs> Vroom, fall back down. Okay. Hands are burnt noticeably. I will wave my hands over his with press and agitation. <sighs> Wash he, his hands. He, he cleans it up. You. you don't have acidic residue, but you, you got right. burnt hands. I <laughs> just for your own. Well, so what did it do to my gloves? Mm. Oh, if you're wearing, were you wearing leather gloves? Yeah. Okay, let's say the leather gloves, leather the leather gloves took the brunt of it. Your gloves are, are essentially destroyed. Uh, it's okay. it's just burnt away the fronts of them. Alright, so I'll take the gloves off. Alright. Put them in my pack. I'll okay. fix them later. Alright. I am a leather worker. <laughs> okay. Mm. Alright. So we're trapped in this room, guys. Any other ideas of what, uh, what we could do? Um, I guess we could try to break the stone. Or we could try to open it again and wedge something in it. Yeah. We can different. try to wedge it back open. We huh. have that cursed sword we could use as a wedge. <laughs> <laughs> that thing... Yeah, let's, let's don't do a cursed it. sword. <laughs> All right, what are you thinking? <clears throat> this is an interesting puzzle. Oh, I still have that. So we were able to open up the door to where it was below where it went down below, is that correct? You did, uh, Jackson opened it up with a 20 strength, yes. And, it's and what have we seen down, right? in there? It was a room below. It went off somewhere, which you can't see because you're looking straight down. You could see 20 feet we down. Oh, Why don't we try to go down there? That's, that's the idea. I have the broken shovel handle still, so we could try to wedge it with the shovel handle. That is an option, yeah. Or we could leave some people up here, such as Tessa, Gans, and Ragnar, and the three of us go down and take a look. We could, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. Me and so, Ragnar can both try to pry it back open, and then you can try to put the shovel handle in. <clears throat> okay. All right, Ragnar will assist. So, uh, Jackson, you roll with advantage, strength. Get that 20 again. Uh, yeah. There's a 16, but... 
the other was a nine, so. Mm. All right, he's not able to do it again on the first go. He reaches down and he tries to do it, and he, uh, he can't get in there again. That thing's that thing's tight. That was even with Ragnar's help? Yep. Yep, so I'll go ahead and shake my hands and try again. All right. Here, maybe I could I give him help? Uh, it's still going to be the same basic thing. He's going to roll with advantage. <clears throat> Is a 21. There you go. All right. Good job. <clears throat> you reach it down. He's able to pry it again. With the force of it pushing against him, he gets it halfway open. Somebody could slip in there, but he himself, if he lets go, it's going to close. Okay. Um, is it open? It's not open. How big is the opening? Uh, so the opening itself, let's see. Let's think about this. We would say <clears throat> uh, essentially a five-foot square is used for movement, but in reality, probably only, only about, uh, what, two... Uh, Two feet or two and a half feet you need to descend downwards. Clear the space. Can I wedge it, I wedge it at all with the, the shovel handle? Shovel handle itself, how, what do you want to do? Like, if you put it straight up and down, it's only going to be, you know, the circumference of the thing when it slams. No, I think he's talking, like, lengthwise. Lengthwise? Like. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. We're going to say that. Let's say okay. you can break that shovel handle, right, to to about yeah. the right thing, yeah, put it down and... Okay, yeah, you got it. We broke the shovel in those traps earlier, so... Um, Shovel handle right, so is inserted. Doors are okay. forced open. Are they staying open? Yep. Can Jackson let go or no? Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. All right. Um, how sturdy are these other pillars? The other dragon pillars? Yeah, the other dragon pillars. Look pretty sturdy. I'll try to kick down the acid one. See if it moves. <laughs> you give it a boot, you hurt your foot. Okay. All right, so we should probably tie the the, the left leftover rope, forty two feet, to the um, to the pillar, so we have someone to set up. Okay. Tie the rope around the pillar, throw it down the hole. I'll untie it back from Ragnar. <laughs> oh right, he's just in for the, the, the window. He's gonna hold the window. He just kind of holds it like this. <laughs> yeah, here, hold on to that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get the rope going down. Um, I guess actually, who's got the most? Uh, I'll descend first. What the hell? All right, scout. Same thing. Give me the acrobatics or athletics, just to make sure you don't completely mess up. Eighteen. Beautiful. You're down. Slide down. Hit the bottom. You're fine. And the bottom is bottom was twenty feet down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who's going next? Next. All right. Go for it. Roll. Just so you don't get a one. <clears throat> <laughs> One. <laughs> yeah. All right. Clairval walks over. He's going to grab that rope. He kind of grabs the rope from the top, kind of tries to go down, but can't quite figure that out. His weight goes down, and he lets go and falls. <clears throat> going to take uh, four points of damage as he falls okay. down. Ah, no. Boom. Hits the ground. I'm going to look down. This is the second time I've seen you done that since <laughs> I met you. <laughs> Kyle, look, what the hell, man? I caught you. I tried. I asked. Can I can I try to catch him? I didn't hear him. <laughs> uh, Jack will also go down. All right. I'll help him dust, dust him off. You That's okay? Anything fun. broken? That's a thirteen acrobatics. All right, you're down. Everybody right. goes down. You descend into a smaller, darker room. The floor above would normally be sealed shut. It is open by a shovel handle. The contraption you've stood on rests on the floor before you. Looking around, you see a large pit at the middle of the room you're in, some 40 feet long, and beyond, the floor rises and a uh, passage can be seen. Does it smell like oil? It does not. Okay. However, not the same. Not the same <laughs> However. <laughs> there is a familiar acidic smell down here. So you're acidic, in a... Like yeah, it does. If you turn around, you have your back to the elevator. You're looking out into the room, okay? Um, <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. So you look out into the room and about, uh, we'll say, 40 feet out, it looks like there's a cut in the floor. And 40 feet forward in that cut is completely dark. Right after that um, is the continuation of the floor and a hallway beyond. 40 feet out, there's completely dark. You can't see it. 
Well, I mean, it, it drops down like a pit. Oh, it drops down. Yeah. Okay. Can we see to the other side of the pit? Gonna walk up to it. So essentially, you walk up to it, put your feet on the edge of it, and look down, right? Uh, if you look across, it's 40 feet across, across the yeah. pit, and you look down in the pit, you can see down, and then it gets, it goes dark. About, uh, let's say, uh, f uh, 15 feet down, it's completely dark. Is it also dark for me? Yes. Cross the, good. Across the pit, is there, what's across the pit? Uh, looks like a continuation of the floor and then a hallway beyond. Okay, is there a way around the pit? No. To the other side? Or it's no? the entire floor. So the pit, pit is the entire floor. Okay. Correct. Conti one continuous wall going on either side down into the pit? Correct, yeah. Okay. I will use the only use of press the digitation that I haven't used yet. Hmm to make a small little rock in my hand and throw it into the hole. All right. I will never be without a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Have your pet rock. Okay. For um, my sake, are you going to throw it into the center of the pit, the right, or the left of the pit? I'll just, I let's just divide it. I was throw it straight forward straight and see forward. how far down it goes. Okay. <clears throat> you throw it straight forward down into the pit. Uh, not so long after you release it, can hear it hit the ground. You can hear it go click, 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 and hit the ground. All right. So there is ground down there, at least. Forty feet down. Mm -hmm. In the darkness. Oh, right oh, can't water. See. Yeah. Forty feet across. Fifteen feet down. You said a bit, right? Uh, 15 feet, it gets dark. You can't see beyond that. It gets dark. Okay. Mm. Uh, can he judge how far his rock went? Uh, wisdom check. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, maybe we should all roll, because we're all listening, right? Yeah, we can all roll. Sure. But I got an 18 for one. <laughs> I, I got a 12, so. I got another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with you the know, eight, the hell you heard. with the we're eight, we're not using that die anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's in dice jail. <laughs> <laughs> with the eighteen, you judge it went about 20, 25, maybe thirty feet down. It's a drop. Okay, yeah. bad D twenty. <laughs> How far was it? <laughs> Good 20 to 30 feet down there. You cannot tell. It's more than I can jump. Well, why can we only see 15 feet down, though? You've got dark vision. You've got dark oh, vision. Have dark vision. I've got dark vision. Anybody else think it's weird that we can't see down past 15 feet? It's definitely weird. I'm going to open up the Lich's spell book and see if there's any spells in there that might help. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't had significant time to study that thing. Um, yeah, I'm just taking the flip through the pages, seeing if there's anything I recognize. <laughs> All right, let me look at something real fast. <clears throat> oh, I also, I also remember what we forgot, as I will. Your music? I forgot the music. I'm going to put the background music on here, too. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we doing here? There's mm. another prediction, too. He's in wants to chime in on it. Where's my pinned message? Shrink I that. It's clear bell, right? Uh-oh. Does it work? Yes, it does. There it goes. Cool. Okay. All right, we got the background music on. So you said you looked at the book right quick. Let me find that. Just to see. <clears throat> As just, you... Yes, just the next roll. Not, not all night. Just It does say the next roll. What do we got? What do we got? Mm, only thing that would make any kind of light is burning hands. Yeah, nope. I already know that spell. Hmm. I'm just going to close the book. This lich had good taste. 
Are there any spells in there that'll cover the, uh, or that'll either cover the pit so we can cross it? It's going to take you real, real time to study that thing. He just had a quick look. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I found a spell I already know. <laughs> Good job. It made light. There's, there's that wisdom kicking in. <laughs> Well, we don't have any rope because the rope is hanging from above us. Mm -hmm. So we got to find a better way down. Do you do? Um, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't know the names of the spells, so I'm not going to ask if you have feather fall. I do not. Plus, there's that black stuff down below. I have gust of wind, so someone can fall faster. <laughs> <laughs> no, that won't help. Thank you. Okay. Does it, do the sides of the of the pit look like they have um, any kind of footholds? It looks like pretty sheer? pretty smooth sheer rock. Okay. Um, maybe we should go back and ask the other three if they have any ideas, or bring them down. It's an idea. We can shout up to up to them, right? We, we can shout up. Yeah, everybody's up there. Kind of look down at you. And Gans will say, what do you see below? Uh, there's a pit, and there's a pathway across the other side of the pit. Uh, we could use a little help figuring out how to get across this pit. Mm. You guys will come down. All right. No, really, no way for you to go that way. Gans will take the, the rope the pit down. pit requires a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 do it. All Throw right. The dwarf in. No, Gans comes kidding. down. He goes, that's a pit. You're going to have to get across it. <laughs> Man, I'm glad we have Captain Obvious <laughs> and Spellcaster Obvious with us. <laughs> Do you have a 24 foot ladder? <laughs> it might help. Uh, we did. Oh. It's a 40. It's a 40 foot across. So oh yeah, it that's a little tough. <clears throat> and it's at least probably 30 feet down, so that that ladder would would not help us. Hmm. Actually, it would because you can drop it down. You only have to drop six feet to the ladder, which is you're probably pretty close to everyone reach. Yeah, it's still, it's Jackson's still gonna above the. Uh, Jackson's got an idea, so he's gonna tell everyone to step back for a minute. Okay. He's gonna walk to the edge. Step back when Jackson has an idea. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna pull out rope? his. Did we recover what? Any of the rope? Oh no! I guess we should leave that. Guess we have to climb up, right? Yeah. yeah. Jackson's going to walk to the edge and pull out his object and show ship. Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How big is the ship? It's well, my main feet. goal is so that it's less of a draw. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, we're not going to look up details on, on the ship. Ship's pretty big. So he, he unfolds the ship and he throws it, I guess, below, essentially, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's say the ship goes, the ship goes down under the darkness, but it's a single masted ship. The mast and the sail are up above the darkness. Oh, so it's deeper than 30 feet. No, no. Sides of, sides of a, a basic four-man little wooden boat aren't that big. Is this the raft or the ship? I said ship, not boat. The biggest one? Yeah. Oh, sorry, okay. Then it would sit up significantly higher. Yeah, the full deck would be up. There we go. It's, it's not a bad idea. Way. It's it's a good idea. It's if he's got a giant hmm. ship, I'm sure it's longer than 40 feet. Yeah, it would have to be. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so it's popping out of this hole. He's got it. Actually, it would probably come out of the pit and be, you know. Yeah, like, isn't... Yeah. How big was the room we were in? <laughs> so 40... Are we all just crushed by this ship Well, now? <laughs> I guess there's that too, right? <laughs> Jackson's it, ideas aren't good. They're just ideas. It's big. Not very wise, remember? <laughs> it's big. It's big. He puts a he puts a giant ship in here. Um, a small room. Yeah, I guess. Uh, hmm. Well, we have to think of two things. If if a ship can't fit in a in a space, would it just not summon, or would it bust through what it could, or would it take damage? Would it get stuck? It would get stuck, I would think, right? Essentially, Stop folding out until you unfold, till you folded it back oh, up. Oh, wow, it's folding out. Yeah, let's say let's say it folds out as much as it can. Okay, so it it essentially uh, fills the pit, goes beyond, gets up as high as it can. The mass is half unfolded. 
Okay. There we go. It's a great idea. I'll give you. I'll give you inspiration for that because that is a brilliant idea. <laughs> I was gonna drop it on the undead. Yeah, you were. Ship is unfolded. It's it's um it's messy, but it'll get you across. You can cross on part of the deck, part of the side of the ship, climb across it, and drop to the other side. Essentially, everybody can get across. The three of you plus Gantz will have the four of you on the other side. All right, make your way across the ship and into the hallway. Um, and then I will fold it back up and bring it with me. Okay. Fold the ship back up into a box. Take it with you. Yep. Okay. Do so. You walk down a long hallway on the other side and into another room. This room appears to be a bedroom of some sorts with a big canopy bed at the far end, far left end. To the right of the bed, a man-sized cage hangs low to the ground with the remain of six small humanoids inside. <laughs> too many jokes about the man-sized cage being in the bedroom <laughs> or brushing too many at once. Yeah, that's what the first <laughs> thing I did was laugh. <laughs> and then <laughs> small <Especially>. children <laughs> was the next <laughs> thought in my head. And I was like, ah, oh, crap. She full of gnomes. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't go to the children part. I went to the gnomes. <laughs> no, I, I recently watched Castlevania again, so I got the dark thoughts in my head. <laughs> Put some lotion on this skin. <laughs> <laughs> don't want the hose again. <laughs> oh. What does everybody want to do? <clears throat> Where do you guys want to go? Not in the cage. <laughs> Not in the cage, no. Nope. Okay, um... So there's a bed, there's a man-sized cage to the left of the bed. What else is in the room? Oh, there's a big big canopy bed to the left. So it's a yeah. bed with uh, essentially the sheet top thing on it and the curtains. Yeah. Uh, the there's curtains the drawn? Uh, eh, they're drawn, but they're sheer. Uh, you can see through. Okay. Um, cage on the right-hand side, like a little uh, oh, wooden dresser, for lack of a better term, but no drawers, just like a, I don't know, little wooden Table. desk Yeah. yeah. Uh, in the room as well. <clears throat> I'm going to go over to the desk. Okay. All right, Clairvell's going to make his way over there. Desk. Okay, you're going to look around there. Clairvell's looking there. Kai, look where are you any going. Of the, any of the doors? No doors. No doors. Okay. No doors. Uh, any handles? Hmm? Like Levers. Levers. Oh, where are you going to look? Give me an idea. Um, let me look on. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me look under the bed. Okay, you're going to the bed. Jackson, where are you going? <laughs> Brave. I like it. <laughs> Jackson's gonna pause for a second, survey the room, and then he's gonna okay, and he'll check the cage. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Claire Val, you go over to the desk. You start the cage. looking around. There's there's essentially nothing there. Just a couple scraps of linen. Um, looks like an old cup. Not too much of of, of interest. Um, Jackson, you make your way over to the to the cage. You look inside. And you do see what is the remains of uh, gnomes. Looks like just skeletons of, of very small gnomes in there. One of them, however, has something in his hand, and it is a lever. Looks like a lever uh, with an intricate bottom on it uh, that you would Found need. the thing. Found the thing. You say, found the thing. Kylo, however, you uh, are down looking under the bed. When you hear that, and you kind of look over to see what he's found as you feel the curtains wrap around you. Roll initiatives. Oh, <laughs> uh, damn. <laughs> it wasn't a one. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot where my initiative 16. is. 16. <laughs> at four. 18. 18 damn mimic. It Did could be a smothering rug. Did you say four, Jackson? Yeah. Okay. Jackson's busy looking at the cage. <laughs> All right. All right. Claire Val, 18. Kyloak. 16. 16. Uh, creature. 12. Jackson. 4. Gans, 2. And Tess and Ragnar? Up, up top. Never Only came down. down. Nope. Only Gans came down. Okay. Yep. All right, Claire Valley, as you're going through the desk, okay. you look over, you see the curtains kind of unfurl loosely. Go over and start wrapping around Kyloke. 
the bed itself starts folding up um, into more of a face almost uh, where part of the the bed opens up into a gaping mouth <clears throat> yep, you're right that's a mimic that's a mimic <laughs> <laughs> the bed is a mimic. I love it. <laughs> New one was coming. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that spell that I was going to do is going to work on a mimic. I'll just check some real okay. quick. Yeah, a mimic isn't a humanoid, I don't believe. Monstrosity. Yep. So, he's not your type mimic. You can't <laughs> have. Uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. Eight. No. You will take three points of psychic damage and disadvantage on your next attack roll. Oh, that disadvantage. <clears throat> Kylo, you feel this thing right before, right behind you uh, starting to uh, press itself towards you. What are you going to do? Okay, can I do a um, can I do a strength check to kind of pull myself away from it? Uh, it's not. It's not touching you yet. It's not. It's, it's not turn. touching me yet. Oh, it okay. can't. It's not. I'm, its turn. You go first. I'm. Uh, I'm moving back with the other two, other three. Uh, everybody scattered. Gans is in the doorway. Jackson's to the right by the cage, and uh, Kai looks to the left by the desk. Give me Claire Val. Claire Val. Let me move over with uh, Claire Val. Okay. All right. You kind of uh, back up to the left by the desk. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what, what this thing. What this thing does. Okay. Are right, you just gonna watch it? Um, <laughs> what's it What's it doing? It's just rising up at the moment, right? Sure. <laughs> um, we have the we have the uh, the lever we need, right? Yeah. Um, we could run. Are you saying Sorry. this out loud? I'm telling you, yes, I'm saying this to you guys. And Gans. Gans laughs. Ha. Run. <laughs> of course. It doesn't make much of a heroic story. <laughs> Neither does getting eaten by a mimic. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'll, I'll watch it, but I'll draw my my, uh, my swords. All right, draw your swords. <clears throat> Creature's turn. Creature doesn't <clears throat> take much of a uh, of a move to get to you. You're not that far. Yeah, he kind of, like, convulses from this giant bed into this giant, you know... Uh, essentially face with this this toothy mouth made out of the bedposts and uh will come up to you uh cal to at me, at me and clarabelle <laughs> to offer a bite yeah check deck you know what you're right it is you and clarabelle <laughs> so it's the one two, two. two. <laughs> it's him too so one two three four who do what do you want to be um i will be three four all right one it is <laughs> as you kind of step back just enough so it b goes for Claire Val. <laughs> he was the one talking to it. So. <laughs> with, a, with a 13, does a 13 hit? It's not my fault. Disadvantage. Dis oh, disadvantage. Disadvantage, yes. It's mentally weak. 12. No, 13 would have hit. 12 Be doesn't. Beautiful. Comes at you, boom, bites down. Uh, you can feel the impact of the creature in front of you, but he does not. Hit. Jackson, you were on the. I look at Kylo. Don't come next to me. <laughs> I was coming to protect you. <laughs> <laughs> that dark cane that I have is technically a staff, right? Yes, correct. All right, yep. I'm going to immediately brandish that instead of my usual weapons. Okay. Slam it down and burning hands. Oh, nice. As I back up to the back of the wall to make sure I don't roast them. Okay. Thank you. We appreciate that. Beautiful. <laughs> Do it. Mm hmm. Do I get to save on Burning Hands, or is it an attack roll? That is... Let me read that real quick. I forget. I had it in my head before I actually said that. It he is still an has action, instantaneous, right? and he has to make a dex saving throw. Ah, I thought so. Or with take the, 3d6. With, 16. With disadvantage. Uh, is disadvantage on attack rolls or on saving throws, too? Just the next attack roll. Uh, I thought so, okay. So I got 15. 
Then he takes seven damage. Ooh. All right, seven damage to the creature. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Gans, Gans is uh, in the doorway. He'll come over to where you two are. Um, Kai Loke and Claire Val pull out his rapier and hoo-yah! strike at the creature. And? And he's going to hit... Kai Loke. <laughs> <laughs> he hits the creature hard with the rapier. Ka-ta! Doing damage. However, he's ah, like, go! It's stuck to the creature. He kind of steps back, relinquishing his weapon, which is now stuck onto the creature. Just to be sure, Clairval, your last roll was not a one, right? Correct. Okay. I announced that when I made it. <laughs> Thank you. I Top of the round, Clairval. I start whispering a uh, discordant melody Ooh. that the mimic itself can hear but no one else can quite pick up. I need a wisdom saving throw. 18. 18 makes the save. However, you will still take damage. And you do not have to move away from me, but you will still take... Uh, you'll still take six psychic damage. Oh, nice. Okay, get him with psychic damage, but he doesn't flee in fear, which would have been huge. I got lucky. Kylo. Gonna attack him with both swords. Okay. Uh, so that is 14 with the one sword, 15, uh, 15 with the other sword. All right, do damage. <clears throat> Nine with the first sword, or sorry, uh, ten with the first sword, and five with the second sword. As you do that, you attack with two swords. Gans is like, "What are you doing?" <clears throat> and your swords are stuck to the creature. You oh, shit. again, you pull back just like him. Not <laughs> learning from what just happened. That's what he's doing. <laughs> and he points over to his rapier stuck in the creature. Now your two swords are stuck in the creature. There's a. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, adhesive fluid the creature uh, emanates. <clears throat> I was hoping to kill it. <laughs> you did damage to it, but now your weapons are part of it. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to move back and pull my bow. How far back? Um, I don't know. How big is the room again? He backs away from me. Is this the part where you're protecting me? <laughs> <laughs> I need range for my bow. <laughs> you're going to get hit as you back up. Ooh, opportunity oh, attack. Technically, right? Oh, no, no. Oh, if he sure. backs up and shoots, opportunity attack. If he just backs up, just backs up. Oh, can I back up and shoot? No, we already used your action oh, on the sword. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just moving back. All right, you're moving back. Give me, give me an idea. 5, 10, 15 feet. What do you want to do? Well, the room was how big? Uh, from where to where? The, the size of the room. Uh, like the size of the room. Okay, so if we say the size of the room, we'll say... Uh, uh, we'll say 60 like feet in total. But it's a 60, 60 foot room. Sure. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move um, 25 but, feet away from the thing. But again, remember where you are. You're about, the door. Yeah. You're, you're halfway through because you've already backed up from the creature. Okay, so you're essentially yeah. at the door. We'll say you're at the doorway. That's fine. That okay. leaves us with uh, Gans and Clairval at the front, right? So Gans and Clairval, we got a 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll keep the same thing. Uh, Gans will be 3, 4. <clears throat> 4 it is, so he goes for Gans. All right, creature. Lucky Clairval. <laughs> it's going to hit with an 18. Doing eight points of damage. And Gans is essentially stuck to the creature. <clears throat> right. As he now has it. Just, and then the swords and the rapier and Gans is now stuck on there as well. <clears throat> Jackson. So much for burning it. <laughs> Is Gans in any pain? No, he's pissed off. Okay. <laughs> uh, whose turn is it now? Jackson. <clears throat> yeah. He's thinking. 
he's gonna how big is this bed this is, a, this is an interesting fight. uh the bed itself the bed would be <clears throat> about six feet long and maybe four feet across and i am 15 feet away from it uh yeah. well, 10 feet away from it because it was yeah burning, burning hands, hands to make sure yeah. not to hit them yeah all right so yeah Claraval should be exactly far enough away that this won't hit him. <laughs> Gans is on the creature. Should be. Oh, I'm going to rely on my own wisdom. <laughs> Jackson will go ahead and thunder wave. Oh. As he flicks the spell, to, flicks the staff down again. Oh, nice. Do I get a save? And, uh, yeah, you get a strength save. I knew I or did. Or you get pushed away. Well, I didn't make the strength save. There's not too far for him to go. I mean, he can hit into the wall, but uh, at least he, you know, gets pushed to the wall, I guess. What's the That's damage the from the thunder, though? That's the 11 damage. Yeah, there we go. And a thundering noise for everyone. Does it stun him? Nope. Yeah, what it does essentially it makes this large thunderous clap. It knocks him away, and then uh, it takes impact damage type thing. Anything else in the room around me though does go scattered flying. Yeah, so you got the the bones of gnomes shooting all over the place, uh, the desk, <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> I didn't really need eternal rest anyway. <laughs> As a beautiful, a thunder wave goes off with the smack of his cane into the ground. That's so cool. <clears throat> That's Jackson, and he hurt the creature. Very nice, Gans. Gans is on the creature. It's like. Damn it, get me off this thing. He's going to attempt to pull himself off with an escape check with disadvantage because that's what it is. He still gets off. He only needed a 13, he got a 13, he got a 15, so he's going to make it. Gans is able to pull himself free from the stick of the mimic and kind of backs up just a foot. He doesn't have his weapon uh, or anything, so he looks over to you, Claire Vallis, and says, Do you have anything? For me to fight with. Toss him, toss him my rapier. All right, he takes a ha-ha. He thinks about it for a second. He's like, no, it's worth it. <laughs> he goes ahead and attacks. No, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he misses. Psh, goes uh, wide. Strikes wide. So my rapier is safe. R rapier is safe. Clear bell, top of the round. All right. I whisper even more loudly a uh, frightening song that chills this thing to the very core of its soul. Nice. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Two. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's mind blown. <laughs> Sixteen points of psychic damage. Oh. It must flee from me as far as its speed will allow. Okay. <clears throat> it will take the psychic damage and move back into the left corner. Until it is, is it moving towards me? Uh, you are directly to its right. You're on the uh, on the okay. the right side of the room, so it's going to move. So it's leaving my range. Leaving your or? range, just a little bit, but leaving your range, yes. <clears throat> so it makes its way to the back back corner of the room. Kylo, you are way back at the arched door at the front. You can see into the room. Creature has retreated to the far corner. Yep. Start peppering it with the uh, arrows. Go for it. Arrow. Twenty-one. Nice, good shot. Eight. Uh, eight. Oh, eight damage. Okay, awesome. All right, arrow goes off shoo, all the way to the end, smacks into the creature. <clears throat> Creature's turn. He is in the corner. Do I get a save, or am I just fleeing at this point? You failed your save, so you attempt to flee as best you can. Okay. Do I uh, get a save at the end of my turn, or do I just flee for a number of set rounds? Just this turn. Okay, all right, so I'm fleeing. I I'm in the back corner. Essentially, I can't move. Jackson. All right. I'm going to pull out my battle axe, the magical battle axe. Yeah. And take a good swing with that. All right, pull the battle axe, run over to the corner. 18 to hit. Oh, beautiful hit. That's... Let me go ahead and look at that. That's five damage. 
Right. Again, it gets stuck. You go give a nice, beautiful hit, boom, and then you're like, gotcha, let go. And I will move my hand away and bonus action swing it back into my hand. Will it do that if it's stuck? It's one of the items I've Eldritch bonded to. So as long as it's on the same plane as me, I can summon it to my hand. But does it physically disappear and reappear in your hand? Or yeah, is it... it disappears and reappears. It's not a like Thor's hammer. Oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. Good point. Five damage. Beautiful. Well done. Good job, Jackson. Gans. All right, Gans. <clears throat> let's see. Let's press it now. It's cowering in the corner. He'll make his way up. Same thing. He has the rapier. He's going to attack. 16. Nice. Gets it. Okay. Nice. Was that just a standard rapier? Yep. Okay, he's going to do damage. 1d8. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, he hits it with the rapier. Ha ha! Again, it gets stuck. He's like, damn it, twice, twice! <laughs> <laughs> Top of the round. Clear out. This is your only chance to flee. You were much better off as a bed. I suggest you return that way and return our equipment. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Ah, cocked. 14. 14, no. Two points of psychic damage, disadvantage on his next attack, as he's hit with vicious mockery. Ooh. Man, Does this end the cowering? No, no, no. Uh, he, the, cow the fleeing for me was for one turn. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Okay. Kylo. Pump him, in, pump him with another another arrow. Okay, do a shoot from the doorway. Fourteen. Fourteen, got him. Okay. I like to think Clarabelle's spooky song damage. was just, You've got bad bugs. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage? Uh, six. Okay, beautiful. All right, you shoot him with another arrow in the corner. Boom. Creature's turn, though. He can come out of the corner, and he does. He turns around, and the closest one to him is going to be Gans, followed by uh, Jackson. You guys Jackson. are both there. So we're going to do a 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 3, 4. All right. What do you, you want to be 3, 4? All right. 3. 3 it'd be. He's going to strike out. Oh. Uh, okay. D yeah, disadvantage on the roll. Okay. Going to strike out at you with disadvantage. He needs oh. a 17 to hit because I'm not using my shield. Nope, rolled low both. It's gonna miss. Clamps out towards you. Nothing. Jackson. The monster. I'm going to toss the battle axe to Gans. <sighs> and brandish my trident and take a stab with that. Oh, nice. Because the, these are my two items that can't get stuck to this bed. <laughs> That's a 17 to hit. Yeah, you got him. And that is six damage. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Let's tell Gan. Don't worry about that one getting stuck. All right, he says, fantastic. Let's do it. Could have stayed at a Holiday Inn Express and the bed wouldn't be sticky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a plus one magic sword that's stuck to the back of the... I also have a plus one magic battle axe that I just tossed to Gans. <laughs> Gans is like, this isn't my style, but I'll use it. Swings with a 19. Ooh. What's the damage on this thing? It's, if he's doing it two-handed, yeah. that is 1d10 plus 2 for my strength. Let's do so 1d10. it's just 1d10 plus his strength. Oh, nice. Gans will finish it off. He pulls the battle locks up. Boom. Wham. Into the bed at the end. You hear some of the boards crack as the creature goes down into a, a gooey pile of... Uh, of unmoving uh, bits. <clears throat> he turns more into a gelatinous type thing in the corner. And Gans will go over. Hand you back your battle axe. Try to pull the rapiers free. I'll help pull the equipment free. All right. I'll go retrieve my swords. Get your swords back. Pull them out. Wipe the goo Try off. Clean the rapier them up. off before you return it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gans will clean it up. I don't want a sticky tool back. Hand it back. I'll sift through this. Stickiness. So now that the bed is if done. There's anything worth looking at in there. Yeah. Was there uh, was there anything under where he was laying? No, it was just a straight mimic there. You got the lever from the cage on the right hand side. The mimic is defeated. What do you want to do? Did Jackson find anything else stuck in the in the mimic? 
Uh, no. No, not at this time. It's just your weapons, unfortunately. Jackson's gonna spit on the mimic. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a spit. You don't want, don't want to cook that and eat it, do you? Mm, Jackson's Thank gonna look at it. That idea, Kylo. Thank you for that. <laughs> Just tasted everything else. Why not? <laughs> it's a little too gooey, yeah, maybe. We're the ones that have to go and camp with him and listen to him try and pass a mimic. <laughs> Does anyone have a vial or empty glass bottle? Oh. <laughs> uh, I've got an empty water skin after using it to put your fire, that put you out from being on fire. Why? I'm not going to put this into that. No. No, you're not. <laughs> would we Would we be uh, eco-friendly adventurers and keep our, our uh, empty healing potion bottles? I would think it would be a great idea because you could put anything else in there, but that's just me. Yeah. Right. I'll hand you one of the, the empty uh, uh, healing potion bottles. I, have I will... Scoop a bit of this goop into there. <laughs> right. Some leftover mimic slop into there. The best yeah. you can. All right. Get yourself a little Yummy. potion of mimic. Also going to give it a taste. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like eating glue. It's not very good. Well, it could be good if you like glue. <clears throat> Thought it would be sticky like peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks to your mouth. He's just blah, 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 the whole time. All right. A little more smart remarks from Jackson today. <laughs> what are you thinking now? You're still on the other side of the pit. Oh, yeah. I did. All right, if you guys I'm... look around, I'm going to be back in a minute. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's continue overturning the rest of this room now that we've been fought by a bed. All right. <clears throat> You looked through the room. You did find the desk. There was not much there. Uh, the gnome skeletons are scattered all across the floor from the thunder wave. Um, cage is broken. Bed is gone. Reduced to a puddle of goop. Uh, that's where you're standing right now. The hallway leading back leads to the pit. What are you thinking? Is there anything in here that we can use to cross the pit? Uh, desk is not that big. It's probably like a yeah. six-foot writing desk. Yeah. There's nothing in the drawers for the desk either. No, there was essentially no drawers, just like a tabletop type desk. Okay. Yeah. Like a writing desk. Thing. Yeah. Got the man-sized cage. Yeah. How how bad did I break that? You just knocked it around. Okay, yeah, we can see about using that as a stepping stool. Okay, good idea. Pick it up. Oh, it's not heavy? It's heavy, but you're a strong guy. You're strong. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and bring that through the hallway and drop it right into the darkness. All right, you're going to throw it down essentially into the pit. Let me just get my pit back here. Where'd I go? <clears throat> Let's see. Falls for 100 feet now. You throw it below, and as you throw the cage down, uh, where you throw it, uh, you hear a splash, and you hear a sizzle as the cage uh, pops and sizzles below. You can smell that acidic smell. I'll look down. Well, that's not very nice. I'm sure, it's fine. <laughs> Gens. <laughs> well, yeah. Gens. Yeah. He says, okay, I'm sure it's Do you want to do the ship thing again? I mean, it was it was a it was a, a gigantic uh, object in the room, but it worked. We could do that. I was just hoping that we wouldn't have to use the same trick twice. True. I mean, it was very large. It could have crushed us, but we got lucky. Jackson's going to check his inventory real quick. Okay. All right. You're looking through your stuff. Kylo, we're at the edge of the pit. We're thinking about how to get back across. Okay. Can't use the <clears throat> <code> again? <laughs> I just don't want to do the same trick twice. Yeah, we're, we do, we're not impressed with the same trick. One trick pony? 
Okay, but we didn't find anything else in that room that would lead us anywhere, right? It's just <laughs> so lingering. For some strange reason, a mimic at the end of the hallway. <laughs> Think if you would have came down here alone. Uh, yeah. If you would have pulled the <laughs> ring. <clears throat> yeah, might have been dead. Well, because you would have been attached to that. You couldn't mm. have moved after that um, clamping dragon. Until you got to the bottom. What was with the soil and green? I missed that. <laughs> it's people. <laughs> yeah, I know it's people. <laughs> yeah, we'll boat it again. I'm assuming the set room should not. Oh, talk about the story. No, that's hey, what it's for, man. Yeah. Talk about anything. Give them ideas. Do whatever you want. Talk amongst yourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I've got two more. You know what? I might as well check the last. Uh, oh, no, I've got. I have three more uh, pockets to check on that robe. You gonna play with the robe? Sure. See if there's anything in there that can get us across. Okay. And but like no hints or ideas. Okay. I mean on. you can. It's just is anybody yeah. gonna listen? Maybe yes. Maybe no. It's up to you. Whatever. <clears throat> okay. Hang on. Percentage. What's everybody else doing? Jackson's considering using the ship. He's seeing if you pull out something interesting first. All right. Uh, forty-six. Uh, what do you got? 46. Oh, no. Oh, no? <laughs> out of the... Out of, mimic. out of the pocket <laughs> comes a fully formed black riding horse equipped with oh. saddlebags as he neighs and comes out <laughs> oh, God, ready feed the horse to the acid. ready for you to ride. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. I'm sure it's a wonderful horse. <laughs> He's beautiful. He looks so yeah. friendly. He, he's, <laughs> Before I pull him completely oh, out, can I shove him back no, in? No, no, he's out, oh. and he's there, and he loves you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on the love. Call him Verlaine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shit. <laughs> you cast in the song? ship? It's a... Uh, Sorry, I just gotta tell these guys. It's a, uh, a robe we found like the first week we played. It had ten, ten pockets in it, and they just happen to be magic pockets. <laughs> Are you gonna unfold that ship? Yep. All right, ship goes back up. He unfolds his gigantic ship again. That <clears throat> reaches out of the pit, doesn't quite fit in the room. The mast doesn't go all the way up. You know, parts of the ship don't fully unfold. The horse gets a little spooked. Um, Kylo Quoley. Another uh, run. Animal handling check. I think that's what it's called. What is my, what is my animal handling? Oh, it's okay. Giving you a stat, should be great. Seven. <laughs> What'd you get, seven? Seven. Wait a second. Uh, <laughs> Do you have proficiency? I have a, I have a proficiency with beasts. I'm also a, be I'm a beast master, master as well, mm -hmm. so I'm also mm -hmm. good with that. Anyways, I, got, I rolled a, a five plus two. All right, essentially the horse gets spooked by the, the image of a giant ship unfolding in, into the room, making a horrific noise. Uh, you're able, you're not able to, to fully control him. Um, let me do high low, call, uh, roll percent, call high low. Tell me which one's your first number, which one's your tens. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm rolling percentage? Do percentage, call high low before you roll it, and let, when you okay. roll the dice, tell us which one's your tens, which one's your... <laughs> okay, the first one is going to be okay. the tens. All right. What, oh, call crap. it before you roll it, though. High or low? Oh, uh, okay, I'll start over. Okay, low. Okay, so low, and the horse is going to go into the back room. High is going to go in the pit. <laughs> He's in the pit. <laughs> 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 All right, horse goes, uh, jumps off <laughs> into the pit. Let's see where he lands, though. <coughs> he could land on the ship. No, he's in the acid. The ho acid? Uh, horse lands into the acid with a splash. You hear a uh, horrific noise from the horse below as uh, as you see <laughs> smoke did. and the absolute stink of horse hair being burnt uh, as he's taking damage below. Hey, he's everyone run across my ship before my ship melts too. <laughs> How come the ship didn't melt the first You time? killed the horse. You're a monster. <laughs> Poor Verlaine. I knew him so not for very long. Yeah, Jackson's running across the ship already. Yeah, I'm running across. <laughs> Gans goes, what the hell did you do? You've murdered that horse. What kind I of ranger are you? We never said we're heroes. This <laughs> <laughs> is a life and soul of the party. 
<laughs> we need a whole new mascot now. We got to rebrand. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I got an old horse at the stables. <laughs> Gans is horrified. <clears throat> Makes his way I across the ship until <laughs> everybody gets to the other side the of the ship. Boat scared him. <laughs> just throws a boat in the air. <laughs> Your party member. He's oh, the, done it twice. The rock can't be the can't be the hero either because it splashed in the bottom earlier. <laughs> oh. We lost that mascot too. Mm -hmm. And I'll bring that ship back into its box form. Oh, you fold the ship back up <laughs> to it. It's a little bit burnt at this point. <laughs> into its box form. The room now stinks of uh, cooked horse as you're at the far end by the dragon. No, guys, get hungry now. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I'm glad it didn't store anything on that horse. <laughs> oh. oh, you make your way over to the brass. Elaine uh, died with the knowledge that he died free, not following Kylo's crazy whims. <laughs> he broke off and did what he wanted to do and he died did. doing it. Yeah. Relaine, life. We Bye. <laughs> Or oh. survived all of six rounds. Six rounds. <clears throat> Make your way over to the Brass Dragon statue uh, and the elevator there, and you look up. Uh, you have the rope tied, and it's, um, uh, what would we say, 20 feet back up to, if you want to climb the rope, what you want to do. <clears throat> yeah, there's no point in staying back down here. Okay. All right, everybody climbs up the rope. Pardon me. Essentially, you guys get back up and outside of the... Uh, the doors with the shovel handle opening, holding them open. You're back in the room with the other three brass dragon heads. Hi, Tess and Ragnar. <laughs> and she'll say, what happened down there? It stinks of horse. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> we found a brothel. <laughs> Jack was making the time for the word fun. There was a ship. <laughs> there was a ship and a pirate. <laughs> a bed. <laughs> Ragnar shakes his head. <laughs> yep. There was a there was a very hostile bed. <laughs> hostile, hostile, like a. <laughs> you guys are awful. Oh. What do you wish to do? We're still stuck in this room. Well, oh, we, we have the lever now. Uh, lever now. Oh, right, we have the lever. <laughs> and the lever to pets. Right. Hand the lever to who? I'm going to hand the lever to test and say, you may have the honor. Oh, okay. Should take the, the lever and make your way over. Put it into the mechanism. Fits. Gives it a pull. Opens. Another. Oh, sure. That one's not trapped. <laughs> <laughs> While she's doing that, I'm going to retrieve the rope. All right. Pull the rope. Great idea. Pull that rope back up. Jack that's annoyed with that. Not, him, not me. She just kind of reaches over. Hmm. Pulls the lever. <laughs> Expressionless. <laughs> Opens a, a doorway, another doorway, out of the room into a hallway beyond. Alright, that's standard marching orders, let's go. Standard yep. marching order down the hallway? I'll take the lead. Alright. Try it in <laughs> hand, shield another hand. <laughs> Alright. Can we bring the lever with us? Uh, yes, essentially you can. You can go back and you can uh, retrieve the leather lever from the mechanism. It comes right out. It does stay in place and the doorway does stay open. Let's bring that lever with us. Hmm. In case we need something to hold open another door, yeah. Good idea. Yeah, cons considering the uh, shovel handles wedged in that door forever. It's a good metal rod, yep. All right. <clears throat> you walk down the hallway for a little bit until, again, you come to an archway. Uh, through the archway, you enter into a room with a wooden padded bench a book upon it, a fancy mirror on the wall, and an ornate rug on the floor. At the far end of the room, a red shimmering light fills the archway to a room beyond. Essentially, you're in a little room, kind of like a den. <clears throat> has a padded bench with a book, a mirror, a rug on the floor, and another archway at the far end of the room. And the archway itself has a red shimmering light uh, in between the arch. Is the room the room's lit with just the red light? Or just the red light, yes. Lights the just room. The yeah. light. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So everyone in the party can see. Uh, go ahead with the torchlight, too. We have the torchlight. Uh, 
Um, what's on the what's on the leather the leather bound desk? Oh, the padded desk. Padded bench. <laughs> there was Whatever. no leather bound anything, and there was Whatever no the desk. Bench, the but leather the, padded bench. There's a bench. There's a bench. So you make your way over. <laughs> Like a resting bench to lay down on. <laughs> like, you said leather bound. Bench. I did not I say the word leather. It was a padded bench. But anyway, padded. you may make your way to a padded you bench. That's what it was. <laughs> like an ottoman type thing. Yeah, make okay. your, yeah, make your way over to the padded bench. The only thing on there is a um, simple book. Okay, so just because I'm a little bit. I take an arrow out and just poke the bench. <laughs> All right. I just want to make sure it's not a mimic. Doesn't react. Okay. Um, here's another book for your collection there, uh, Jackson. Pick it up. I'm not touching it. You can, <laughs> you can grab your own book. It's your library. <laughs> sure, Jackson will take a look at it, see if it's got any fancy writing in it. Okay. Make your way over and you pick up this book. This is a brown, uh, brown cover, nonchalant book. It's not labeled on the cover in any way. Open it up. has simple... It looks like childish nursery rhymes inside. You've heard before as a as a kid. Nothing special, out of the way. <clears throat> Put it back. Jack was from a different plane. These are weird stories. That <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Yeah, maybe a fish man wouldn't have heard them. What is this all about? This is nonsense. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right, uh, Clarell, what are you doing? I want to go take a look at the mirror. Yeah, that was okay. my next stop. <laughs> Make your way around. That's the thing I don't trust in this room. <laughs> That's why I'm staying away from it. I'm going to go look into the mirror. Mm-hmm. Assuming I'm just seeing my reflection staring back at me. You are. Although I want to move to it. A little more charismatic with that shirt. Oh, right. <laughs> I want to move to an angle so I can see the archway and see if there's anything different about the archway when I look at it through the mirror. So the mirror itself uh, will be currently on the wall um, mm-hmm. that essentially the archway would be on as well. So the mirror is across from you as the archway is across from you. If you looked into the mirror, it would show behind you currently. Mm-hmm. No change in the color or anything like that when I look at the archway? Hmm. Let me double check. Yes, I love my, quote, tacky <laughs> dragon shirt. <laughs> 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 future armor will need to make sure that it incorporates so that the tacky dragon shirt is on the outside. Picture oh, yeah, it's got a dragon shirt. on it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was silk. I thought it was supposed to be a fine shirt. <laughs> That's why you wanted it. Uh, you, uh, uh, let me say this. Okay, if you if you get to an angle where you can use the mirror to see the archway, it does it does show uh, reddish light. It does reflect itself as uh, as still there. Okay, so we're all in the room, right? Correct. Yes, you're all in the okay. room. I'm going to move a little bit closer to the mirror uh, and take a look, not at not to look at the arch, but to look at everyone's reflection in the mirror. Okay, uh, you do so. Yeah. Is everyone reflected in the mirror? Yes. Is anyone else reflected in the mirror? Good call. Very, very good call. You look around, do a head count, kind of spend a little, a second to do that. No, you don't see any extra bodies at the moment or anything like that. And everybody in the mirror looks the same? Uh, correct. Okay. Um, Ragnar, give me that, uh, give me that uh, glass pane real quick. Oh, I'm takes the window. The... All right, takes the window yeah, off, hands it to you. I forgot about the window. While he's doing that, Jackson will shift his eye patch over. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. You see that in the mirror. I catch him. Uh, I take the, the um, two by four pane mm-hmm. and put it on the mirror. Okay. Um, okay. Is there anything behind the mirror? No. A uh, good idea. I get, I get kind of what you're getting at. Uh, behind the mirror is just wall. So it will, it will only open to wall. Ah, uh, Okay. I'll retrieve the pain here, back meal. <laughs> All right, he takes that's, that back. back. The mirror itself is obviously hanging on the wall. It's just a smaller mirror, maybe eh, two feet, let's say. 
I'm sorry. I missed that. I'm sorry. The, the mirror itself is hanging on the wall. So it's, it's a okay. wall hanging mirror, maybe about two feet. Okay. I was just making sure that it wasn't like a two-way. That's a great idea. No. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right. Um, take a peer, up here into the, uh, into the archway. What's, what's making the light? Okay. You look through and you see a, a dining room past the light. So you can see through the light and you can see a room beyond. It looks like a little dining room. Um, it has a table set up like a big dining room table with chairs all around it. Um, some things on the wall and whatnot. Anybody sitting at the table? No, nope, no one in the room. The light source is fireplace or is it? The light is actually is in is in the arch. It's physically it's in, the, in arch. the arch. It's like a wall of red light. Okay. Um, hmm. Could be a portal. I'm saying that to the group. Could be. What do you yeah, what do you make of it, Tess? <clears throat> Should do an arcane check. Gets a fair reading from it. She says could be. Could be a portal, for sure. Definitely looks transmutation. Jackson will get the right look one. over the wall. He's going to hand his trident to whoever's closest to him. Okay. Who would be closest to Jackson at the moment? Uh, we'll say one of the NPCs. I'll say Gans. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm going to give Gans the trident and ask him to hold it through the door. Okay. All right. <clears throat> While he's doing that, I'm going to try to, once it's through the door, I'm going to try to summon it to my hand. Okay. Gans will take I the will trident. The way through the door. And he will enter it into the into the arch. As he does, the trident goes into the, right, the light, the red shimmering light, and vanishes. And once it's vanished, I will try to summon it to my hand. Comes back to your hand. Okay. It's not another plane. Okay. Oops. Gloss. So I think it's just spooky light. All right. Uh, um, I think we should go through in twos because we don't know what's on the other side. It takes us into another being's realm. Um, at, at least we won't be alone. <laughs> well, I'll volunteer to go go first with whoever else, want, who else wants to go through. Well, if one of us goes through. We're all going through. Yep. All right. Well, then I guess we should all go through, but we'll go through in twos. Jackson will go with. All right. <clears throat> all right. Kyle, Luke, and Jackson are walking through the or the the we'll red the light. Portal, yeah. <clears throat> you walk through the red light. You two vanish. Okay. Next two guy goes in succession. Are we actually going to go, guys? I mean, we get rid of the pain of the butt. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'll go with Tessa, but I want to bring the mirror. Take the mirror off the wall. Yep. Okay. Take the mirror <laughs> off the wall and go We're through the... taking all of this furniture. And go through. You guys <clears throat> go through. Everybody essentially comes through. Passing through the red light, you feel yourself being teleported. Seconds later, you stand in a square room with a fireplace and a padded chair and two ornate swords on the wall. Looking around, you see an arch uh, to another room. To your right, left, and straight or forward sorry <clears throat> each arch is again blocked by a colorful light different colors different colors where's the fireplace uh fireplace will be on the northern wall to the left that's the one that's straight ahead of us correct Is the fireplace lit? No. Good question. It's not lit. I'll fix that. <laughs> Firebolt. I was just going to use precipitation. Can't fire. Ah. All right. Gently light the fireplace. Little fire crackles in there. Oh, Fastest is here. Fastest, I didn't understand hey, your video. I, I thought it had something to do with Attack on Titan. I don't know. I watched it like four times. I didn't quite get it. <laughs> He'll have to explain it to me. All right, a little <laughs> fire crackles 
in the fireplace. What's everybody else want to do? Illuminate the room. Uh, yeah, yes, twenty feet of light. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything on the tables? On the table. Sorry. Okay. So you were in a. Let me just uh, get that one more time. Uh, fireplace, padded chair, and two ornate swords in the wall. That's all there is in here. Nothing on the table. So it's not like set for dinner right now. No table. But you said there was a table with chairs when we looked through. Oh, there was no, there's no table now. There's no table now. There was a table when we looked through the arch. That's correct. Okay. Is there, there's, and there's no debris of a table. No debris of a table. You're in a den. <laughs> of, yeah. We're in a den now. Okay. What color are the other portals? Looking to your <coughs> right, it is green. Looking to your left, it is yellow. And looking ahead, it is blue. And the one we came through is still red? Nope. Behind you is a solid wall. We can't go back. That one of the walls is purple. Green, blue, and yellow. Okay. Green, blue, yellow, solid. <clears throat> You're right. Yeah, the one behind us now is solid. Okay. What's on the walls? Uh, two ornate swords. Just the swords. It's Not like, combat are they ready. Just. Or are they? Uh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, take a little closer look at the swords. Do we recognize? Do I recognize them? Uh, no, they just look like decoration. Okay, so then it's not like they're the ones from the crest. Oh, correct. No. <clears throat> okay. Are they sharp? Uh, no, they are fake. They're just... Oh, they're mall ninja swords. Yeah. Okay, what... Uh, I'm gonna, Since I'm near the fireplace, what's through the... If I look through the blue portal, what do I see this time? A dining room table with chairs. <clears throat> and I'll look through the yellow. Uh, dining room table with chairs. Okay. And anybody want to guess what's through the green one? <laughs> Look through the green. Got to come away with the same image. <laughs> <clears throat> did you bring the mirror? I did. Um, hold the mirror up over here by the... Okay. If I look through the mirror and look back at the blue door, what do I see? At the blue door, <clears throat> you're going to see just the blue door, yourself holding the mirror and looking at the blue door. No, but do I see anything different through the door? Or no. Is it no, it's just showing the light. Just the light. <clears throat> just the light, so I can't see through it. The well, no, you can see, just like you could see with your eyes. Oh, you can see the dark. Yeah, the same, same thing, image. same okay. thing. Okay, <clears throat> so it's not, uh, not necessarily an illusion. Correct. <laughs> Green is the only one that's not a primary color. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, interesting philosophy. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> Good enough so, for me. So we've got uh, three doors. Same image we saw through the red door. So, any guesses? <laughs> Where, which way do we want to go? Do we want to go? Well, we have to go. We can't go anywhere but out of here. Mm-hmm. Try the green. All right. Um, you're going to go through first? Sure. I'll go with you. All right. Everybody in, the, everybody in agreement? We all go through? Yep. Green door. <clears throat> you go through the green door, you feel yourself being teleported. <clears throat> Seconds later, you arrive in a small room with a padded wooden bench, a place where there was a fancy mirror on the wall, an ornate rug, and a missing book. A red light blocks the archway to the north of the room. Dining room okay, can be seen room. beyond. We're back in the other room. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Something we didn't do last time. Best puzzle of all time. Door three knobs. Each knob does not. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've had, have we had something like that? <laughs> Not yet. Um, let me think we do, since we didn't do this before, I'm going to look uh, at the rug. Okay, you look at the rug. It's a <clears throat> little uh, rug. It has uh, brown and white in it. It's circular. It's in the middle of the floor. Okay, I'll lift the rug up, see if anything's underneath it. You can touch it? 
I can lift it up with this <laughs> with the edge of my sword. <laughs> it's fine. It's nothing under it. <clears throat> okay. Is there a design on that rug? A uh, circular pattern, almost like a bullseye. <clears throat> back through and try a different door sure all yeah. right i guess we're going back through all right <clears throat> you go back through the red light and you find yourself back in uh the room with the fireplace still lit uh, the sword's on the wall i'm gonna try something okay he's gonna stick his face through the yellow door <clears throat> in our game we don't do a portal right yeah in our in ours you know, we don't do a halfway through we it's in or out because you teleport it yeah well, well, Jackson's already made his way over there. May as well. <laughs> I'll go with him. Gonna go through yellow. Sure. Okay. We'll wait here. And see okay. what happens if you guys try and come back through. Okay. All right. So just Jackson and Kylo are going. Yes. Okay. Now you say, if something happens and you come back through, how long are you going to give them to come back through? I'm just going to give them about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so that's 150, 200 rounds. Yep. Okay, just so we're <laughs> just so we're clear. All we're right. To get jumped. Yep. You yeah. two. <laughs> no. You two. You two pass through the light. You feel yourself being teleported. Moments later, you arrive in a long, dark hallway. Oh. That's a dumb. red light uh, blocks an arch at the far end of the room, 140 feet down. Bones litter the floor of this hallway and large glyphs are drawn with white chalk on the walls. And behind us, a solid wall. Correct. How many bones? How many, like, skeletons? Uh, give me a perception. Or insight or some investigation. Whatever you want to use. Okay. <clears throat> Eight. Uh, hard to count. Hard to get a count. Uh, more than five. <clears throat> more than five? Okay. Um... I'm just wondering how many of these are, are dead wizards. Um, oh, do, do they have any? Is there anything on the bones, or are they just bones? Uh, how far you want to go up to look? <laughs> to the first one. Okay. <clears throat> Make your way up to the first one to look to get a closer perspective and see what's uh, what's involved here. If there's anything else with the bones, as you do, <clears throat> Jackson, you see the glyph on the wall light up. And trigger the other ones. They all seem to light up. Uh, the bones rise to their feet as you get about eight skeletons equipped with rusty old swords that stand up. <clears throat> Roll initiative. Okay. Let the melee classes go ahead and <laughs> find the skeletons. That's a 19. That's as high as I can get. I get a 5. That's my nat 20 minus 1. All right, it's an easy one. Jackson with the 19, Skeletons with the 18, and Kylo with the 5. Jackson, you are first. You see uh, Kylo move up the hallway to investigate. The glyphs go off. The creatures stand up slowly, assemble, <clears throat> grab these uh, old rusty-looking crappy swords from the ground. Look like they're going to come at him and start attacking. What do you wish to do, sir? There's eight of them. I'm going to go for the first one with okay. the battle axe two-handed swing that's gonna be a 20 not natural okay that's who that's max damage that's 12 damage nice okay and i will after i hit the first one how many are close to me uh we'll say the first two we'll go in groups of two so the first two you hit one with the battle axe very very hard breaking off essentially most of him <clears throat> type thing and yeah let's go ahead and burn through my resources since they're waiting for 200 rounds <laughs> yeah just about okay so skeletons go ahead and nope not yet i'm on action surge after i do this real quick okay this stream <laughs> time cop time <laughs> cop oh. time, cop time. <laughs> stream you cop. use that you could use the new one the secret one in there I only got 5k. You only got 5k? 
but I will action surge and hit the next one. <laughs> action surge hits the next oh. one. Do it, do it. Turn to number two. 23. That's almost a nat 20. Yeah, you got him. That's a 13. How does that work? Uh, yeah. I got him. You hit him. And then the last one was wrong. What? Nope, that's 12. Oh, 12 is going to miss. No, no. Damage. Oh, 12 damage. Oh, now you're hitting the second one? Yeah. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna is have action, fun. Action surge is that is that an, is that like your that's uh, specialty or something? His fighter it's a fighter ability, yeah. Oh. All right, essentially he moves up with the battle axe, starts hacking at these first two. Skeleton's turn. The first two can attack back. The second two will move up as well. The other four at the far end are gonna start moving down. Essentially four on Kylo, four on Jackson, as these guys start coming down the hall. So on Jackson. We got um, 13, uh, 16 to hit. This is. <laughs> uh, 16 to hit. This is. And lower. They're all going to miss. He's got a high AC. They're, they're trying, man. They're attacking. Kylo, however. <laughs> Ooh. 14 to hit. I'm a 15. Okay. Ooh. 10, 11. Miss. Oh, 19 plus. I got you. And the last guy is going to miss. One's going to hit. You're only going to take one hit. Right. You guys got lucky. I rolled low. <laughs> Six points of damage, Kylo, as he's going to attack you with his sword. Okay? Kylo, your go. You have essentially four skeletons trying to surround you, four trying to surround um, Jackson. You look down the hall, 140 feet. There's that red light at the distance. You know that these guys were going to wait for you. You don't know how long they were going to wait, but they were going to wait for you to come back. Yeah, we don't know if it's the same red light, though, either. You want to run for the door? <laughs> you run for it. I'm good. Um, all right. Well, I will we'll stand in and fight for a little bit. My two swords. All right, we're going to wait? Okay, let's go to the top of the round. Jackson. Yeah. No, I get, to, no I, get, I, get an, I get an attack. Go for <laughs> it. Yeah, you do. Go for it, man. <laughs> uh, 14. Uh, 14. You're going to hit one, sure. Go. What are you going to hit okay. with? The two swords. Do the it. two short swords. Okay. So. Seven. And ten. Seventeen? Yep. Nice, 17. man. Good. All right. You light up one of the skeletons on your first hit. Jackson, your go. Gonna swing that battle axe with. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to swing with hey. one hand as I take my shield out. Get the notes. <laughs> okay. Third one that's around me. Okay. Going to hit the third one? Go for it. Yep, that's going to be a 23. Nice. One away from perfection. Nice. And that will be five damage. All right, five damage. I'm having fun. <laughs> Skellies. Okay, we got four. We're going to do four on Jackson, four on Kylo, so four. Now at my Ooh, full AC. 22 to hit you. That one hits. Oh, I got on him. Rolled high. Low. Ooh, 22, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 25 to hit you. That hits. And low. I got two hits on you. How much are they doing? They are doing. Do you want it per or total? Total. Total? Makes okay. math easier. 4, 8, 9, 10, 13. Oh, wow. 13 damage, it's like boom, boom, boom. They start surrounding you and beating you with swords and stabbing you. You're now, are you, Jackson? You can go, I've got this. Uh oh. <laughs> On Kylo. Uh, 18, 19, 21, 22, 24. Uh, miss. Uh, 17. That hits. And miss. Two hits. Two hits. One at total? Sure. Four. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve points. Oh, I'm almost dead. I have four hit points left. Kylo, I rolled bad the first time. Uh, I suggest we run. <laughs> yep, Jackson's gonna try one more thing before he. 
Okay, that's I'll anything. Start, I'll start running to the to the door. All right, Kylo, what's your speed? 60? Sixty? Or sorry, thirty? Uh, thirty. Yeah, thirty walking. All right, thirty. So you can get sixty. Okay. All right. And the hallways. How long is the hallway? What did I say? One forty. Oh, where's my list? There it is. I'm sorry. All right, of course, that's... I wasn't listening to the size of the hallway. All right, you ran for six. Sorry, you ran for sixty. Jackson, your go. Yeah, I have an idea. Yeah. Oh, uh, called shot. Ooh, called shot. Uh, Try to spin around and hit all four of them around me, with just the axe out. All right, fifteen or higher, just a straight D twenty, no modifier. Is a sixteen. Nice, nice man. All right. <laughs> so do one do one basic attack. They'll all take it. All right. Still so got to roll a hit. Yeah. The one-handed, yeah. That is nine damage to each one. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. All right. That one's dust. That one's dust. That one's up, and this one's at that. Two up, two down. Nice. You do the super whoosh, uh, spin around with the battle axe able to take two of them out that you, you severely damaged in the first round. The other ones are still there. Uh, creature's turn. The back four are going to chase after Kylo, but they're not as fast. So Kylo goes out running them. The front two are still going to attack at uh, Jackson. Mm -hmm. Ooh, first one's going to roll low and miss. Oh, I almost had a natural 20. But it turned to, uh, turned to a two. He's going to miss. Yes. All right, so let me go here. That was the creatures. Uh, Kylo, you're gonna run the other 60 feet. How far behind? Are we, uh, how far behind the army are they? I should say. Oh, uh, uh, well, 10 feet. Like, well, they're 10 feet behind. Okay, yeah. so they've got 50. 50 grand. Okay. Uh, yeah. Might okay. As well. Yep. 120. You're 120. Okay. Yeah. Unless. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Uh, top of the round, Jackson. That's Flee or fight? Use... Well, I think I'm. Uh... How, are, how rough are these ones looking? Uh, one looks really rough, the other one's okay. Okay, I think I'm going to hit one more of them with a firebolt. The one that looks okay. Okay. That's a 20 to hit. Nice. Two damage. That is nine damage. Okay, and then are you moving? No, not at the moment. Oh, sweet. Okay. Skellies. Okay, so two skellies on Jackson. Ooh. 23? Yep. And 21. Give me the full damage. One, two, four. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, I rolled max. I rolled two eights, and I had a four. 16, 79, 20. Okay. Ow. Are you still I, up? No. Are you down? <laughs> oh, crap. But now is exactly the time to go and get the others. Okay. <laughs> Jackson falls down. Kylo, are you going to do anything or just run? So I ran, I've run 120 feet, right? Yeah, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, tactical it if you're just going to run. No, no, but how far is it? How far is the portal? 140. So uh, 20 feet. 20 feet. So I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run the 20 feet. Mm -hmm. Take a shot with the bow at the lead skeleton, and then drop through the portal. Okay. Give me the bow, damn, or give me the bow to hit. Shoot. Oh, five minutes up. Uh, 15. Which should hit because I hit with a 14 earlier. Got him. All right. You're shooting the guy you hurt before, correct? Sure. Okay. Eight points. You got him. That one's down. That one's down? Okay. Yep. And I'll drop through the drop through the portal. Okay. Go through the portal. You feel yourself being teleported. You're back in a room with a padded bench where a mirror used to be in and an ornate rug has been lifted by a sword. Is it I red? will collapse on, on the bench. <laughs> Are, Are you they here? Us? No, this is the this is the the first room. They're in the second room. Um, they're in the okay. they're in the fireplace room. You're in the the padded oh, bench in the room. fireplace room. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I will. Uh, yeah, it's no turns. I'll just uh, 
go through the portal, the other portal, to the, uh, to the fireplace room. All right, all right, I'll say your full movement gets you across the room, through the red light, and you collapse into the room with the padded chair, the fireplace that's newly lit, and you see uh, Clairvel, Tessa Gans, uh, and Ragnar holding a window. <laughs> what happened? Where are you guys? Where were you guys? You said we were waiting here for five minutes. <laughs> What, uh, where is Jackson? J- Jackson is down, and I'm hurt. <laughs> we got attacked by skeletons as soon as we went through the portal. Is he dead? Uh, he's down. I don't know. I didn't, wasn't close <laughs> well, enough. To we've got to go. I know. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to stay here. I'm, at four, I, I'm hurt pretty bad. Just play Ragnar for a round. <laughs> I will. Uh, I'll sit in the chair. <laughs> Just sit in the padded rest. chair. Put your feet up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, I'm you sure you. I'm sure you can tell that I'm pretty beat up, right? I I know, but I don't even like Jackson that much. <laughs> you want to go and, uh, save him. <laughs> it's up to you. I would go save him myself, but unless you can heal, heal me up. Well, clearly, you wouldn't though. No, I I came to get help. All right, let's go get Jackson back up. <laughs> let's go get Jackson. <laughs> All right, is everyone going through the portal? Apparently not, Kylo. <laughs> <laughs> Kylo, are you staying or going? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> um, you know what? Do I have any spells left? Let's see. I do have one spell left. I'm in a cast cure wounds. Okay. Which is a D8. On yourself or on your down companion when you get there? On myself, because I only have four hit points left. If I go through and take a hit from one of those skeletons, I'm dead. Yeah? I might still be dead, but... Oh, only got a one. You get your bonus. Oh, you, what's your, oh, you have no bonus to wisdom. I don't have a bonus. Well, <laughs> he no. healed one. All right, now you, have, well, now you have three hit points. Oh, I have five, yeah. Or five, there you go. All right, everybody's going through the yellow... Okay, I'm going through because I'm not staying here alone to have a uh, mind flare show up and... I like that these skeletons did exactly the amount that I healed earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You make your way. Everybody makes their way through the yellow light into the room. You are teleported to the <laughs> area where the skeletons are. Jackson, you are on the ground. Roll your first save, please. Yep. There's uh, that is like four skeletons. And that's 20. Right. Is it really? Yep. Nice. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> All right, Nat 20. So now, what's, remind me, Nat, Nat 20 was two saves or fully up? I think that was Nat two 20 saves. was fully up and one hit point. But... Oh, yeah? Unless that's what you want to do. I don't mind that. I think that's a, a very, very low odds to do. And you pulled that off. So, okay. you know what? I'll say that. Let's do that. I'm going to go with that. I don't even care. Uh, you are up. You essentially come to... You have one hit point. You're conscious. As everybody enters the room, you're kind of like just starting to sit up or look up. But there is still... If you roll a 20 on a d20, you get, regain one hit point. Beauteous. There's still <laughs> two skeletons above you and um, three more at the far end of the room. So... Oh, so there's five left. Okay. There's five left total as everybody comes through. Um, okay, do I get an action this round or no? Yeah. Go ahead. I will... Before these other skeletons can start running back, I will. Before I even get up, I will fog cloud. That is my racial ability. Nice, man. Between them and us. All right, 20 foot fog cloud? 20 radius? Yep. Okay, fog cloud goes off. Essentially, only your party can see you. Ahead of that is obscured by the fog. It's going to take the skeletons a little bit to get through that. Uh, we're not going to do any initiative at this point. Uh, you guys can interact right here. So there's no skeletons on this side of the fog? Uh, correct. All right. I will run up to Jackson, see that he's still lying on the ground, and cast a spell, though. Okay. And I can see that he's at one hit point, barely holding on for dear life. We leave you alone for five minutes by yourself. Not even. <laughs> you healed 12 points with a cure light wounds. Nice. We do have to run through these guys to get alive. To get back through. Yeah, or we all take him out again. <laughs> Try not to get hit. Up to you. Right now, ahead of you is a 20-foot radius 
Um, oh, I... Oh, lost your volume. I thought I had put that between me and the further three. Not all of them. Oh, you, wanted the, you wanted the first two out. Okay. Up to you. What, do you. what would you like? You can get them all in there. Yeah, we'll do that then. Okay. We're going to put them all in there. Uh, so you guys essentially have this giant fog cloud at the end of the hall. You, you Kylo, and Jackson both know if you run in a straight line, you're going to hit that red light uh, at the far end. For the creatures to attack you, it's going to be tough. They're going to have a mischance as they're trying to hit through the fog, if they notice you at all. Uh, if you wait for it to dissipate or you want to attack them, let me know, and we'll do combat-based turns. It's up to you guys. So they're all in the fog? Essentially, they're all in the fog. They can't see you. Okay. Everyone wants to get a ranged weapon ready. And fire when I say so. Okay, yeah, notch my bow. Does everyone else have a ranged weapon? My biting tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ragnar has a crossbow or something, doesn't he? Now we do have to make a we do have to make a call because we play from ten to one in the morning. It's one in the morning, and we're going to go into combat. Let, let's call it there. Do you want to pause right here and then we pick it up next week right yeah, here? Yeah, let's, let's pick it up in combat. Because it's going to take a while to do the combat. Yeah, start the next week off right in combat. Everybody agree? Sound good? Okay. Yeah, All right. We can start with violence. <laughs> start with violence. <laughs> Suspense cliffhanger. Uh, we are. Uh, Custom we do uh, predict right now. See if uh, predict if anyone's gonna die. Yeah, there you well, go. Well, we'll do we'll do the predict at the beginning because it won't it won't save. Oh, boo! We'll do it at the beginning of next uh, next game. All so right, come guys. back for the for the prediction. So we play Sunday nights yep. from uh, ten to one in the morning. A custom homebrew game of D and D five e. Um, we have uh, Mr. Cal here from Twitch playing with us. Check him out. As well, Drake, he's an old uh, player of D&D. Uh, Jackson started streaming, so he is over at... What was your address again, Jackson? i got to put it on the thing. It's Nintendo support. I can just... I link it up. Shutter. Link it up. Good money's on Kylo dying. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get your shoutouts fixed. <laughs> yeah, we'll get them. We'll get them. Uh, but come by, watch the D&D stream if you like. Uh, gentlemen, thank you for coming out. Man, you stayed the whole thing. I hope you had a good time. Uh, and you enjoyed it. That's good. I'm glad we're getting people to come by. We had another new... Yep. What was the other new guy's name? There's somebody uh, else came by. Was, uh, uh, the Thalmor... I can't remember. Thalmor or something, rather. Guy in yellow was here with us. I saw a yellow name. I just... Sorry, I forget your name. Uh, Cosmic Collaborator came by. Seemed to be very interested. So. The Thalmor Scourge. Thalmor Scourge. Uh, some, somebody that I work with. So. That's cool. That's cool. Who may eventually join us uh, for a PlayStation. So, excellent, excellent. You can find me at... Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Come on. It, it stuck up on me. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, awesome. Good, good, good. Let's do a... Oh, what do we want to do here? We're going to do a... You want to find us a guy, Cal? Yeah, yeah find us a guy to raid. We'll raid a D&D stream if you guys want to hang out. You can do that if you're going to take off. Thank you for coming by and check us out more. We also stream through the week some video games if you're into that. If not, come by on Sunday. Let's see who we got. Oh, who uh, we Doc Bannister is uh, streaming again. Take him again. All right. Last week. DOC? DOC underscore L-A-N-I-S-T-E-R-2. It's uh, actually follow both of us last week, so that was awesome. All right. Kawaii and Lude, thank you for coming by. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the stream. We're going to play the movie. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. One of Jackson's friends. All right. I'm going to do... Out for the, hang out for the raid. Hang out for the raid. I'm going to quickly mute us. I'm going to uh, play the movie, and then we'll do the raid. See you guys. All right. Peace. Lost. No, no one is immune. We all will know loss.